It's August 26, 2022, and if you can believe it, it's a Friday once again. Thank you. 
Uh, jumping kicks. What Hi, the kids. fuck is up? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Sarah, what do you mean those are words? Also, <laughs> yes, Peepaw Drinky Winky. Ooh, what Peepaw Drinking? Uh, concoctions. <laughs> what? Peepaw Drinking. You will. What? It's Peepaw Drinking. <laughs> I... uh, tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I put some rum in a glass, uh, and some limoncello, and now I'm pouring oh, over... We can rule them like gods. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> you can sleep now? Why is Ren stinky? Oh, he always also, does this, and also, then I also say, I'll say, hey, Matt, you smell, and then our ritual true. is complete. There we go. Okay. Now well, now Mad can go to bed. Again. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love that as soon as Mad came on, the fucking, um, I forget what those guys, uh, that enemy's name is, but the theme music for, <laughs> for them from <laughs> Breath of the Wild came on. The really big guys that you'll find sleeping and you have Guardians? to wake up. No, 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 no. Like the big, uh, the they got a single eye. Chalices? No. Oh. Divine Beast. No, they've got like a single eye. They're like a big orc. Oh, like the big cyclops oh. dude. Yeah. Yeah, th they start uh, with an H, don't they? Oh, oh, Is it oh, a Henox? Uh, he yeah, Henox. Okay, yeah. there we go. I, I love that yeah, that my, music my came on as soon playing. as Mad showed up. <laughs> <laughs> my brother started playing Breath of the Wild. Um, Ooh. And Ooh. so he sits next to me when he does this. Uh -huh. um, and he's like, He's always asking me these questions um, as if I am his help manual. Uh huh. <laughs> because this like is you the, have an encyclopedic knowledge of Breath of the Wild, as we all know. Yeah, you do. but it's also been like a year since I've played it. So, like, <laughs> it, it's funny when there is something that I definitely know, like, it's my thing, he uses me like I am Google. It's uh -huh. funny. Um, <laughs> he does this with writing. He does this with Lord of the Rings. <laughs> um, and now he's doing it with Breath of the Wild. And it's funny because he'll just sit next to me and I'll be like, look, I, Jared, I don't know about this thing in particular because it's been forever and I need to double check. And he's like, then what's the use of you, then? Fucking incredible. <laughs> oh, no, he does this all the time. It's funny. <laughs> he just... He just sits down on my bed and I'm like, look, you're not giving me any space, dude. And he's like, listen, it's because you're taking up so much space. So you need to move closer over that way so that oh. I can be comfortable. And I'm like, it's my bed. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And you're and? my sister. So. so so everything is yours is mine. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, 
Oh, and to quickly finish off that story, I was telling the other two so they're not left hanging. Uh, the punchline is he kicked me in the solar plexus. We're done. Oh, oh Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Bob story. Don't worry. About That's it. fair. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm moisturized. I'm unbothered. I'm in my lane. <laughs> Like I'll, that tell one guy. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. It's only because like uh, we, you joined our call like as soon as I was about to tell the end of it. So I just wanted them to know what, how, how it ended. <laughs> how is this okay? How is this right now? Uh, even no, 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 no. I that uh, sorry. Uh, I was I was going to pose a rhetorical question and I took too long. How is this oh. one twenty eight saturation? It feels like uh, so unsaturated. Um, I'm going up you know what it bit. needs? You know what it needs, Kit? What? A blue filter. <laughs> oh, no, no. What if I just started streaming with a blue filter? Come in one day, like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm um, in the Twilight like, Universe. Nothing's now. wrong. <laughs> I am now part of the Twilight Universe. Yes. I am it's now. Uh, early 2000s movie. God, that I've I've been watching. Uh, what I've been binging recently is um uh kenny jd's uh uh youtube channel she does a series called bad movies in a beat where she does her makeup and talks about a bad movie that she watched uh oh <laughs> branwin moment branwin. i think branwin is the goddess of um uh uh Mac. random violence i i love how you it almost sounded I'm, like you emphasize Rand in that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was, I was thinking, I, I almost <laughs> called her, um, since I've been uh, catching up with uh, Songfiel, uh, Friends at the Table Songfiel season, um, uh -huh. I almost called her the goddess of immediate justice, which is a goddess they made up in that one. Oh, but perfect. No. No, I mean, the vibe is a little bit similar, but she also doesn't have, like, a fascist cult uh, uh, worshipping her. She has, like, some of the best people in the world that worship her. Yeah! <laughs> exactly. But, but, what is this? Oh, it's the Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. That's why I, I've never heard this. I was like, this is a um, banger medley. Oh, you see, I have the stream muted so that I can hear you on Discord just fine. Yeah. So when you make comments like that, I'm very confused for like I the feel first like, few seconds. You know what? Yeah. What if I what if I did this and I shared my screen to you guys so Ooh. you could also hear the music? Yeah, that'd be Ooh. nice. See, that's uh, that way we can. Oh, I have to exit out of friendship the friendship is about sharing. It's about sharing. I have to exit out of the about Sims. sharing. I've that's also been another thing, the my brothers. <laughs> 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 That's another thing my brother's been doing to me, where he'll just be like, Hey, Lou, can I have some water? Can I have some? And I'm like, this is my glass. This is my glass, Jared. And he's like, you won't share with me. You won't you're, share. You're so mean. You never share, share. anything. And I'm like, share. it is like my glass of water. <laughs> For eight dollars a day, we could change that. I'm yeah, I'm not, I, and I want to be clear that eight dollars a day is not going to Mac. It's going to Branwyn. Yeah, it is going to. Branwyn. She's going to amass a little dragon horde of of dollar yes. dollar bills. That yeah, she and then like, have her only for her out. to sleep on. For her to sleep on. Uh, no, it. eventually, once we reach uh, that level of support, it will also be her litter. Um, <laughs> we'll commit a federal crime by destroying the money. Um, and shredding oh. it up into paper, and that will be her uh, her litter box too. I think I think it should go towards her chicken pate obsession. What is this? Hello, what are we're you? thinking Hello. about you know starting a cult for Branwyn. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, like I've definitely <laughs> got a good like beginnings going. You already have yeah. a shrine. Yeah. You do I have a shrine that. for her. Oh, like you sounded like some some. Um, middle-aged mother who just got, you know, like, the interior <laughs> decoration of her life in her living room. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, oh my god, yes! <laughs> That's perfect! No, we we love it! Your reaction was perfect, I love it. Like, it, <laughs> that is how everyone should react to hearing about a cult for Branwen. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Well, and I feel like 
having a, a sister cult of um, the cult of Birdle would be yeah. like amazing uh-huh. to have your different I feel like, like sex. here's the only thing is Squirtle is not so um, awe-inspiring in her power, I think. Um, no, no, see, no. Bran- Branwen, like- Branwen is the goddess of... Uh, of random violence, but like, what is Squirtle yeah. the goddess of? Squir- Squirtle there. is like a little uh, spirit, a little deity, like a little spirit sort a of sprite. a thing. Right. <laughs> um, and we yeah. literally, s- she's so we literally just summon her. Celibate. We summon her all the time by going butter 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 butter, and then she appears. You see, so like, she she's also bacon in a lot the of window. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so she's like Aww. the wise hermit. Yes. She only comes out when she wants. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. I manhandle her all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're one of the patron saints, so. That's true. I have those privileges. Right. <laughs> Everyone else she does know. hide from. My mm-hmm. aunt came over today um, oh. and, and visited, and she hid from her. So um, oh. It was nice to see my aunt, though, because I haven't seen her since the Panini. Um, oh, that's oh, crazy. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, and she yeah. happened to be in the area. Uh, she is a Presbyterian pastor. I forgot which denomination oh. for a second. But she's like a super cool... She and my uncle are like super cool pastors. <laughs> like, um, they, they like stay... They really like... All the things that I think modern day Christians are like super hi- hypocritical about, they are like absolutely not like... They're very, like, actually love your neighbor um, yeah. and all yeah. that shit. Um, like, they totally, when, whenever I first came out, they totally accepted me. She was, like, checking Aww. in today. She's like, okay, so when I talk to people, uh, should I call you my nephew? And I was like, yes, that's perfect. Um, like, that type of thing. So um, she's really cool. They live up in Chicago area. Um, but she was down here for uh, like a Presbyterian like conference uh, thing, and was like, "Can I come uh, take you out to lunch uh, on Friday?" I was like, "Hell yeah, let's go!" Uh, well, that sounds really nice. Yeah. I'm glad that you I like have her. Fun. She's my nice. uh, my mom's sister. That side. Well, okay, she. <laughs> I only have, she's. I have her and then uh, an uncle, my my mom's younger brother. My mom's younger brother is like the complete opposite and lives in Arizona uh, now. Um, well, we don't like him and he's also yeah, in Arizona. Yeah. We don't like, like him. It's like, good, I don't have pussy. to pretend to, uh, I don't have to like grin him and say hi at like uh, family yeah. meetings that very often anymore. Yeah. So. Um, Fuck you. Fuck you. Anyway, it's this Wait. song. Friend. We'll get to do the mm-hmm. sibling fuck you again. <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! How many? Wait. Fuck you. How many <laughs> siblings have you two played in this series? Uh, you played Edward and Francisca. Yeah. You played no, Christoph Chris and Clavier. Clavier. Good. That's about three. That's three. Eight. <laughs> Like, do we? Are we gonna play siblings in the next game? I hope so. <laughs> we need to make this this I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and here's the thing. Uh, there's lots of secrets about like family stuff uh, in the next oh. game. That's all I'm gonna say. So I I can neither confirm nor deny if you are playing siblings. Even if I look at the play, uh, <laughs> the cast. Maybe the fate casting. will decide for us. Huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe fate will decide for us. It's true. Yeah. Fate will decide if you are if you are once again. Oh, Sarah, sibling. we're playing um, Simon and who? Aura. Yeah, Aura. Aura mm. Blackwell. Wait, so who's we're playing, playing who? Because for some reason, I'm Aura. Oh, you are. <laughs> for some reason, I'm I Simon. had it in my I'm mind. Simon since the beginning. No, okay, no, I knew you were Simon, but then for some reason, I had it in my mind, um, and I had a panic uh, in a moment just now. I was like. Shit, Rand's gonna be playing uh, the two siblings. We can't have that. <laughs> that can't work. I didn't realize that Ren was playing Aura. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we. It was Christ's I, word. It's word. very, All very we... much. I, I, I believe I, I, I thought that specifically because Aura is such a you character, Rand. That's true. Um, it is true, and it's like. Mm. If I wasn't playing Simon, I would totally play Aura. That's it. But that works because we're 
played slightly against our typecast. It's true. Yeah. I like slightly. It. I feel like Simon is is mostly. Simon I'm... is my typecast mostly. <laughs> Rand really uh, saw Simon and said, "Come Listen. on, fuck me, Eva boy. Come on, fuck me, Eva boy." <laughs> No, there's I, a fan I don't camp. Want to do that. There's some. Okay, that's fair. Evo boy. <laughs> I have the. I have the fucking range. Okay, let me do. You do. Like, I mean, we all do. do. That's right? the thing. I was just shocked. I was like, what? <laughs> um. Oh my god. But uh, wait. Okay, I specifically went I did, and looked it up. I did for another character. Mac and I switched which characters were played for case of the next game which oh, yeah. is i know you will do absolute justice to this mac <laughs> thank you thank you i saw um, her and i said i need her <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just i'm just going to i'm going to i'm going to um i am going to confirm the sibling energies will carry into spirit of justice but i'm not going to say how or why okay okay but you will once again be playing opposite each other Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It cannot be stopped. <laughs> no. No, we cannot. So, um, um, before Becca arrives, I just want everybody to know. You had forgot my age. <gasps> I, can't, I can't even remember my own age, girl. <laughs> No, no, look, look, there's no, there's no, I'm, I'm actually not judging you here, however. However. It is like perfect, it is the perfect material for me to tease you with. It is true. Like, <laughs> and, but see, now, now the shame is going to reinforce that you and Mac are the same age, so the next time I guess, because it will that come down to guessing again, I will remember <laughs> that I should basically, unless... Unless both of your birthdays haven't happened yet. Um, <laughs> then I should they, guess yeah. that you should vote. Uh -huh. Well, they both happened this year now. They both happened. It's Mine true. It's coming up 9th of October. A month. Yeah. 9th of October. 8th, I gotta, 8th like... of October. 8th of October. Oh, oh. October. wow. October for you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think that's why I get confused because I have to remember it as like, I have it in my calendar as the appropriate day, but then I have to think about it as the next day to wish you guys a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> like, like with Jerry's birthday that just happened, like I have it in my calendar as the 24th of August, but I can't say happy birthday on the 24th of August until it's like 11 p.m. at night. So I have to think about it as the 20 <laughs> 25th, and it is fucking confusing. Wait, okay, because I'm opening a note, uh, a sticky note I am on my computer that I said the right no, now. Actually, Red, it, it's funny because. Technically, my due date was October 9th, but <laughs> then I told my parents, no, I want to come out now, and then I was born October 8th. I want to be early, bitches. I was late. <laughs> I mean, as I, I, was I, will, I would continue to be to everything. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. I was born a week early. I Ooh. was meant to be born around the 11th or the 13th of August, but I was born the 6th. Which is funny because I'm either extremely early or extremely late to things. There is no in between. <laughs> Wait, curse. Mac, when's your birthday again? June fourth. June. Okay. I almost mm. I almost uh, thought it was May, late May. Well, well I this never. Means you're two months, well, two months older than me. Yeah, I kept saying a month <laughs> because I was thinking of July, but it's actually you're two months older than me. Oh. <laughs> I will have to young, say. Young, young. <laughs> Youngin, you whippersnapper! You old man! I continue to be the oldest amongst this cast, yeah, but not in the you're, Discord. You're oldest, you're oldest I'm here. grandpa. Oh, the reason I um I said grandpa People. needs a drink is because um I've been uh my drinking habits have been assigned grandpa by my sibling. Um, oh, so really? when I was at the wedding in Milwaukee the other week, um Zoe. We were commenting on the fact that Sarah, my my middle sister, is uh, as she's as she's growing up. Not only is she becoming extremely mom friend, but she's becoming extremely wine mom friend. 
<laughs> um, and so we were joking about that. Um, and then Zoe assigned me Kalua Grandpa, and I was like, "That's oh such a God. specific <laughs> Kit, vibe." Kit, I just finished off my Kalua today. <laughs> oh my God! Here's the thing, and here's the thing: I'm too pretentious to buy just straight up Kalua anymore. But I—that is something that Why? I would do. It's just because I feel like there are better coffee liqueurs on the market, and so now I treat myself. Um, <laughs> like actually, the one that I really like uh, is uh, Mr. Black Coffee. Ren, it's actually an Australian brand. It's an mm. import that I get. Um, you know what? I'm not surprised because even if we seem to be like real bogus about everything else, we are snobby about our coffee. Nah. <laughs> Wait, so does, does, does Australia do too well here? Does Australia yeah, grow strawberry. coffee? Sorry. Is is coffee an Australian export? Like, are there growing conditions for coffee there? No idea. Oh, okay. I, was, I, I wasn't like sure if that's why they were snobs. So I don't really pay attention to that sort of a thing. But I do know that we are snobby about our coffee, especially in Melbourne, because, like, all of our coffee shops are, like, to a high standard. I remember when we went to America, and cause, just because that's, like, the one place that we've been to as a family outside of the country. I'm not looking at you guys. It's, like, yeah. literally just the one place. Um, and my mom would have, like, just a coffee from a random place. Not, Not even... Uh, Starbucks, just anywhere, and she's just like, oh, no, okay. <laughs> what was up with it? And she's like, mm. you know, in every place we've been to, it's just not the same as it is in Australia. And I'm like, How, what's Aww. the difference? What do you mean? And she's like, well, I, I mean, I can't really say anyway because I always have soy, and that affects the taste. So you know, and I'm just like, I don't understand because I don't have it, so I don't know. But I did see a short documentary on the fact that. Starbucks did not take off well in Australia. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I think, we still I think have fast some Starbucks. Chain. Yeah. We do have Starbucks. Like, we have a Starbucks near my uni, my old mm. uni, which makes sense because it's near a university. But, um, and there was one in my hospital. But aside from that, it's not very common here. Um, because, like, yeah, they just, like, unlike Maccas, they didn't change their menu to suit the oh, demographic like or Australian whatever. Changed. Taste. Here's yeah. a question: Can you get beetroot on your uh, yes. on your McDonald's? Oh yes. wow! Okay, yeah, no, yeah like I was gonna a... say that's like a huge uh, um, that's a huge change then. So yeah, no, they've um, like if you see like there's even Maccas if you look in like uh, Hong Kong or something they have a whole different menu um, mm -hmm. because they've uh, basically assimilated to whatever country they're putting each chain in. Um, <laughs> And so that's why <laughs> that's why they uh, are successful in that. Because like if you go to the Maccas here in Australia, you have there is Aussie burgers, like mm -hmm. <laughs> with the bacon and everything. Ooh. What? <laughs> what are we oh, doing? I was just reading what, I was reading oh. what Mac right? <laughs> I mean, she is a sex symbol, though. You're not wrong. <laughs> um. That's how I. That's how I found out about her. Was a tweet about her apparently being like, I, like turning Edgeworth straight. Ball. Oh no! What? <laughs> there was the a whole the internet ball. She she escaped the 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 bounds of um, spirit of justice uh, infamy yes. um, to go to the wider broader internet, which was a mistake. They were not ready for her. <laughs> um, because oh, someone yeah. made an animation where basically, uh, I, uh, she and Edgeworth had an, uh, sexual encounter. Wait, um, and it was oh very, God, like, what, what the fuck? What? What? I have not seen it myself what? because Wait, I was like, I was like, animation? not... It was an animation, backup. apparently. I know. We like, need listen. a backup. We need a backup. Who? Who did... <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just gonna fucking say it. It was Geru Tonaido, the clown girl, the sexy clown lady. Oh, oh. and she escaped. Wait. She escaped containment. <laughs> See, that was the part I missed, and so I was oh. like, "What is going on?" <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> I'm sorry to blow the bubble on that, but it had no, to be said. No, it's fine. I just literally missed, like, it always happens to Burst me that I bubble. missed the one smallest bit of important info yeah. that I hear everything else, and then I'm asked, like, wait, what happened? And then, not you, but, like, most people will just, like, 
describe the whole thing, Sarah, but the thing I need the answer on. Oh, poor Sarah. Sarah did you oh watch god. it? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Did you watch it? No, that's what I'm saying. I heard about it. I heard, like, people that I follow who are into Ace Attorney on wow. Twitter were talking about oh it my God. when it happened. Guys. And I was like, you know what? This is it was one true. thing. Only this is clouds. one thing. It was I'm not <laughs> It's not happening. Um, Wait, no. sorry to... <laughs> there he is. So, sorry to draw you guys back to the previous topic. I'm just okay. like, sorry. I just wanted to ask, do you have? No, don't apologize. I just want to ask, do you have big brekkie burger? No, no, that sounds delicious. What the yeah, hell is what? that? Okay, hang on, hang on. Because I'm wait, going wait, through the Aussie have... menu and I'm trying to think like, what would you guys not have or something? I'll put it in the public grimoire. Okay. Like, oh. I was gonna say one thing that we do have. I don't know if it's popular outside of the U.S., but we have chicken McGriddles, which are fucking delicious. I have no um, idea what those are. They, it's like a fried I chicken, guess... a fried chicken patty, um, and uh, they put it between two McGriddles, which are another specific uh, uh, McDonald's item. It's basically like a pancake with like little pockets of syrup in it. Like almost as if it were chocolate chips of syrup. Mm. Um, it's like a so chicken it's like, and waffle. Yeah, it's like chicken and waffle, sweet and savory, and spicy because I think they typically put their spicy McChicken mm. patty on there. Have the brekkie ever... burger looks so good. I don't. Yeah, uh... our, I think our breakfast menu is really big and popular here. Like we love breakfast, so I think I don't know. I heard about that. I'm not actually sure if that's hundred percent um, a thing. So, so oh, I was just going to say at um, Hardee's and or Carl's Jr., they have French toast sticks, and those have been my oh. go-to. Um, they're just like fried things of dough, and they give you syrup. I love nice. French toast sticks so much. <gasps> Becca! Becca is here! Becca, we're talking about uh, differences in Australian fast food menus versus uh, U.S. ones, and what one may have that the other doesn't. Apparently, yeah, they have a big brekkie burger at McDonald's in uh in australia and it looks so good i want that so bad it's got like the egg on it and everything oh my god yeah we have like a mcmuffin and everything um do you have that yeah oh yeah okay, mcmuffins cool. we yeah. got we got them with yeah, sausage bacon and uh you yeah. can get the standard one that has like a piece uh, of no. ham on it it says that it's not picking up her mic oh oh, oh no ah. Becca, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe you need Unplug to hang it. up and then, and then. Yeah. Uh, Go to your sound settings and make sure it's using the right um, input. It might have switched somehow. Yeah, my Discord was a bit funny today about my input. Oh, she's typing. Mm. Oh, oh. I'm on the browser. <laughs> okay. That I'm not sure about. Uh, you, do you want to download? Discord to Becky's laptop. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, um, <laughs> no worries, take your time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, listen, I thought you were going to be much later than this, so. Um, wow. I, in case anyone is wondering if they should watch the clown thing so they can be in the know, don't. See, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I could tell. I could tell. It would not. Start. Don't do it. It's just not good. <laughs> and put yourself through this trauma. All I knew first about Gyeru was a Tumblr beep about like the cloud, and then it said like, you know, her boobs aren't real, right? They they they're balloons. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, no. Her I'm boobs sorry. are real, and they're huge badonkers. Excuse her you. Huge badonkers. They're huge. Huge. Oh my god. I, I cannot wait for that case. It's gonna be so... <laughs> There's so Isn't much the about that case that just goes completely off the rails. And you're like, what the fuck is happening right now? So, More so than normal. I, it, I'm it, just, it's... I'm, hi, Becca. I'm just so happy that Min, I think, might also be in that case. I'm just like, oh, great. 
to I get to play him experiencing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't I can't wait. Becca, no! <laughs> hey, no! Check the input on the laptop settings. That might be what's going yeah. mm-hmm. you up. If the laptop itself is uh not recognizing the microphone. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, I feel like I feel like that case is like a shining beacon of light in the rest of Spirit of Justice. <laughs> um, not that there aren't like other like good parts, um, but I feel like there's also a lot of bad in Spirit of Justice. Oh. Uh, oh. But so- Turnabout Storyteller is like the perfect, the perfect case. I I don't know what to say <laughs> other than that. Well, then. Oh. After after we finish Spirit of Justice, we're gonna move on to the Great Ace Attorney. So it's true. I'm excited well, okay. Here's for the that. thing. I'm so excited. I can't decide if we should immediately go to Great Ace Attorney or if we should um, stop on by the Miles Edgeworth investigation. Oh, <gasps> I also really want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, they're I on the miss list. Miles we're gonna so do them. Much. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. do them at some point. But I was like, should we do them sooner or later? Um, and maybe the answer is sooner because, but yeah, that's the only thing is the investigation games are so fucking long. I remember, I know this is, uh, we were talking about this in the discord earlier, so it's a little bit of a sore topic, but press buttons and talk. Um, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. When they played Ace Attorney Investigations, I was aghast at how long it took. Um... I, it was honestly a little. Dis- I was like, I'm not. I'm not sure if I can play. Yeah. Like they also have a final case where it's like, oh, you think it's coming to an end? Psych! Uh, oh, we've God. actually got another in- entire uh, round of of shit to go through. Psych! Now so... we're gonna talk to the villain for um hours and hours and hours and then it can finally end so you're you're uh, basically telling me ace investigations is rise from the ashes the game yes basically oh that's the thing and i'm like i'm like oh, i would no. i well now and now i'm almost wondering what if we sprinkled it in between other Ooh. things Oh, actually, like what if we, I was about to suggest that. I was yeah, about like, to what if we played, like, case we one? With or some maybe not case one. Case one might be too short. I can't remember how long case one goes. But, you know, what if we played an entire case in, in investigations, and then we went back to... Um, the Great Ace Attorney. Great Ace Attorney or something like that. I, I like, like that. that idea. Yeah. That might be has a way to mitigate it and not be, like, stuck <laughs> in... Increments. Investigations hell forever. Even though it is very good. (laughs) Yeah, I like that. Like both good shoe Takami palette cleansers, so they're good to have after the drag of AI and the taste of (laughs) SOJ. All right, maybe I I I will try and. um... (gasps) Can you hear me? Hi! Oh my God! You're here! Hi! Hi! Oh my God! Hello! You did it! You're a technical (laughs) genius. I'm so afraid. (laughs) <laughs> uh, you did it and welcome also back, I'm back Becca. I'm back at college so I'm gonna have to do it with my college wifi again so <laughs> Woo-hoo! we love it we absolutely love it how the heck are you Becca oh that's not what I meant to open okay. <laughs> I realized uh, I haven't had dinner yet I took the double oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the reason why I was late was because I was making dinner with my uh, roommate <laughs> oh nice <laughs> Um, there, another reason I was late was because I have a, had a pet band meeting, and it went until 6.40 when it said that it would end at 6. So, <laughs> <laughs> Don't like that. I like, hey. was like, great, thanks. <laughs> That's how it always is. Thanks for respecting my time. What uh, fast food should I order? Taco Bell. Food. Taco- I, I've already had Taco Bell. No, you had Taco Bell earlier this week. I had yeah, Taco Bell blasted out. Listen, yeah, I, I don't really know your fast food restaurants aside from the ones I get, had. Uh, get Arby's. I don't know. Hardee's? I said Arby's. <laughs> Oh, hey, Arby's? Don't, don't mock Hardee's yeah, in this uh, establishment. Also, I'm mocking Hardee's in this establishment. Hardee's is fucking good. Hardee's is not. 
but it's still mm. like the burger I grew up with. Becca, do you <laughs> remember this song? Heidi, 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 no, I am unironic. Like I, 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 I am uh, unironic when I'm saying this. Hardy's is great. Yay. I'm with you, Becca. Yeah. I haven't heard yeah. Hardy's in a while, and my last memories are of it being like way too greasy, even for fast food, and me being kind of like, mm, I can't. That's do why this I usually cheese. get the chicken. I, I like the chicken sandwiches. I feel like the thing about Hardee's and also about Burger King, at least Burger King's in North Carolina, is that <laughs> like, it, the food may be good, but like whatever their management or however the training is, it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> like, no. You'll like, always, it's always run by like people who, like, which I understand, but it's like, <laughs> like you it's always run by people you, you know don't want to be there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just like the vibe. Show. Well, it's not yeah. even the vibe. It's like, it's like the food won't be good, and it probably might not be prepared well. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, guys, I literally live across the street from the a Burger King, and my roommate has had so many like bad experiences with them that I just haven't eaten there. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're like that's fair. <laughs> they're not good. They're not good. <laughs> yeah, I. I think. What I, what I will say about McDonald's. Yeah. I I am kind of sick of McDonald's at this point. Yeah. And I don't really I don't really like their food anymore. But what I will say for them is that boy howdy, at least the one by my work, boy howdy are they efficient. Like they actually like have their like workflow down to a T. Um those people, like, I place my order in the drive-thru, I pull around, I pay immediately, I pull through, they are already holding my bag of food out the window yeah. for me! Like, like, those, that specific McDonald's location, they, whoever is running that joint is like... And I wish those people got paid more because honestly, it's fucking incredible yeah. to me every time. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a great that's, day. That's very fast. <laughs> like every single time. Um, I'm just like, I'm wowed. I've never had to wait there. Um, what about like, pad thai? At all. You got any good like pad thai places? Um, I, I'm i less a fan of like pad thai specifically. I like other Thai Fair. food, but... Um, uh, I'm I'm currently uh, ordering some Sanic. Sanic, <laughs> Sanic. Like I really like their popcorn chicken. Do you guys have oh. Sonic on the East Coast or on the West mm -hmm. Coast? There was like, I don't know. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. I was just gonna say every Sonic I've like, all the power to you. Every Sonic I've been to has been so fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, I'm about to see Sonic how my local like... Sonic is. Like a burger place, but it also has slushies and different things. And the main conceit of it is, it tries to be like a drive-in diner where you can you have the choice of sitting in your car and someone will order it for you. When I was growing up, the only Sonic nearby me was on base, the base near my city, and I only went once. <laughs> So I don't. <laughs> yeah. So like, I. Yep, it exists. I don't know if this ever exists. Oh, hi Maine. How's it going? Hi um, Maine. Uh, I don't know if this exists in Australia, but um, so there's like a a very classic type of diner that used to exist like all over the place in America and does not really mm -hmm. anymore. Um, called a drive-in diner, where yeah, you would like drive, it, you would drive and park, and there would be like a, a, at each parking spot there would be like a little menu with an intercom where you could order your food, um, and you would just sit in your car, and um, the waiters who were often like the the platonic ideal of this is that they were rolling around in roller skates. Um, would roll up to your car window with your with your food, and you would just eat it, um, eat it there. So they didn't have like any indoor seating, and they might have like some oh. um, outdoor seating in like a covered area, but it was like very much like a yeah car hop. I think um, if we do have those sorts of places, because I, I don't think like they're unfamiliar to me, they might just be like novelty things that are along the highway, um, oh yeah, or something like it's not that common um like i can't think of any place like that off the top of my head 
but I wouldn't be yeah. surprised to find one here and there along the long stretches of road or something. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I I can't. I'm sure there exists somewhere in this country um, uh, actual versions of that original like conceit or whatever. But Sonic is a fast food chain that has um, capitalized on the idea. Um, mm -hmm. So you can still, if you go to Sonic, you can either go through the drive-through or you can pull up in your car just like then. The waiters do not roller skate, probably sometimes for HR they reasons. They do. Yeah, sometimes they do. I've seen. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've never, I've wow. never seen Sonic where they do that. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It always made it so much slower. Oh, <laughs> fair. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I were skating around carrying people's food, I too would be like, okay, it's it time to sense. go as slow Sarah, as possible. Sarah, shut up. You have Tim Hortons. <laughs> and you're Sonic in the room with us right now. <laughs> yeah, shut up. You have Tim Hortons. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what that is either. Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't even know yes, what Tim yeah. Hortons is. Is it a gas station? Is it a donut no. shop? A donut and coffee shop? It's I don't like know. A, it's like a breakfast. I'm pretty sure it's a breakfast place. Or is it like is it like, like Dunkin' Donuts? Is yes, it, I think it's a fucking cafe. Ooh. That seems well, pretty. Excuse me, I don't consider a place where you can get drive through a cafe. Yeah. <laughs> What about Mick Cafe? Uh, that that okay, doesn't count. Red, That's a Mick Cafe. Red, red, <laughs> red I, I, I have to tell you this. The Mick Cafes in the United States are actually like, like for example, I have, when I'm in other countries and I go to McDonald's, Mick Cafe is sometimes just a separate thing in the, and they're like, yeah, you can get desserts, you can get coffee drinks, it's nice and separate. When I worked at McDonald's, it's just like three feet of different things for coffee. Yeah, I don't. I, I it's, it's, it's like okay, you don't. It's still the no, McDonald's I experience. Yeah. I know. I was trying to tease you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got very heated. No, you're fine. I was like, <laughs> I thought it was very funny. <laughs> you're like, listen. Listen here. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh all my three god. of my cousins have worked at Macca's, so I, 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 I oh. hear all these stories and I'm very aware of the workings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The salt was so bad, it made my. It gave me cuts on my hands. Jesus. Oh. Ooh. The fire. No. The fries. No. <laughs> but I believe it though. Fries. Yeah. That's like, uh, Becca, how our sister got mutilated working at Firehouse Subs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my no. god. What? She literally lost her fingertips. Or yeah. Her finger oh my god. Prince, 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 I misspoke. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. No, she has god. fully functional fingers. She's an artist. Yeah, yeah. She I'm, lost I'm, her fingerprints. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, I just had uh, a heart attack. Like... I mean, that's still bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, you're okay. <laughs> but, um, uh, it was like, well, wasn't it? It was on her thumb for sure, and then on, like, her whole one hand, but, like, the other hand, she had. Oh, what was it? Or, like, I can't, I can't remember entirely. But, yeah, I um, can't, I can't either. The full extent of her injury. I, re I just distinctly remember whenever we went to <laughs> Disney that same year or like the year later, um, that like they had, they there's like fingerprint things, right? Where like you yeah. could, um, uh, you had to use your thumbprint or something to get in. And she had to like maneuver her thumb around on the thing because her oh. fingerprint was so messed up. Yeah. Her thumbprint was. Um, are, her her hands are all better now, right? Like they healed. Yeah. All right. It's yeah. Just, she, I think she developed eczema on her hands specifically oh, from no. the dishwashing. Um, uh, oh, that would be yeah, shit. Urgent. That they had. Yeah, yeah it, it was just like way too strong, and even with like yeah. gloves on. I remember when she was still working there. She would come home from work, and like she would buy plastic gloves separately, and like slather her hands in like forearm and o in lotion and put the yeah. gloves on on top of them um yeah, and like go to sleep like that to try and like that's healing. what that's what we have to do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i thankfully never had eczema 
I never had eczema on my hands until I was like 20 and I got some very specific type of eczema on my hands um, when oh. my eczema like oh. full on exploded. It was like when I went off my immunosuppressant medication so yeah. everything was like, yeah. oh god, we were like the yeah. whole body was like, <laughs> you guys, right. so, evacuate so, the dance but, floor. <laughs> but having, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But having eczema on your hands is like, oh god, it's like, I yeah, have, I, I, I can't. Oh, yeah, I've been in hospital for eczema, so like people who treat it, it's like, oh, you just get a rash, right? I'm like, no, no, no it's really yeah, bad. bitch, no. Like I've even had nurses who do that, and I'm just like, you have no idea. <laughs> um, so I really feel for your sister that she developed it through that. Like that sucks. Oh my god. It did. Oh my god. I felt so bad for her. <gasps> Christian is taking care of my order. Not in my Christian. good Christian household. Um, I place my. <laughs> Is it Christian order. with a C or Christian with a K? C H. Oh. C H R I S D I A N. Uh, wait, what? Becca, wasn't there a song about? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Fuck. What? What was the song called? Because it was probably remember. C H R I S D. Hell. I was thinking I am and I have C H R I S T and my H E R T and I will L I B E E T E R N A L O Y. There it is. Oh my god. Fuck. I just unlocked a part of my brain. Uh I don't know the name of that song, but I don't even know what you're singing. Is it? Hold on. Oh, okay, wait. So I know I'm, it started. Okay. I am a C. I am a CH. I am a CH. I am a CHRI. I am a CHRI. I am a And I am CHRI. I am a 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 CHRI. Anyone who tells you Christianity isn't a cult is lying. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, God. We would we would sing that in um like the fun uh study fun camp. Christian yes, server. Group. Our fun our fun uh wholesome Minecraft Christian Minecraft servers. Oh AKA I meant the you fun people like are the, the ones, ones we were talking about. No, I know I know I I was joking. I meant like I I want to I want to class I want to clarify. I've never belonged to any Minecraft server, let never. alone a good never. Christian never. Minecraft server. Um, it was like the little like I don't remember what Bible you study it. camps. It was, yeah, well, I mean yeah, yeah, in Bible study, but I'm specifically thinking about that thing that we that like I don't know how long it was, but like it was right before they sent us off to um fucking and I guess maybe it was Bible study or not oh. Bible. The, the, the little kids thing that they did um, after services and stuff. Um, oh, you know, um, you know where they, I think it was where they, Sunday school. Sunday, Sunday you mean Sunday school, school. yeah, Sunday school. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um. They would, uh, but there was like a, there was like a fucking Sunday school? Vacation <laughs> <laughs> Bible school, right? Fucking <laughs> uh, Sunday school, I couldn't remember it. Um, but yeah, because cause there was, um, it was not, not during Sunday school. There was this thing, at least at our church, um, where they would, they would, we would all sing, I don't know, we would all sing songs and stuff right before, um, do you know what I'm talking about, Kit? Not really. That might have been something they instituted when you were a baby kid. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, I might also just be thinking about the, the cooler service where they would they had the band and stuff, not the less traditional one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, Fucking no, hell fun. yeah. They had... <laughs> I apparently missed the fuck out on never... A, never owning a Wii U, and B, never playing Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U. Because why are th why is the whole OST for it that's Zelda themed a fucking banger? <laughs> this is such a good <laughs> remix of Song of Storms. Oh my god. Um. Anyway, should we should we actually start? Yeah, it's been a fucking hour. <laughs> Can we start the? Let's start. Oh my god. Oh my god. Play us out. Lead us out, Song of Storms. I'll let it go until it finishes. That's the least uh, amount of respect that I could... Right, like, the the bare minimum amount of respect I need to give. A little disrespect your surroundings. Disrespect your surroundings! <laughs> I actually know how that song goes. 
disrespect your surroundings! I don't know. Yeah, just like that. Actually, like, I think the reason I do I haven't played a Oh wait, lot of shit! Zelda. Oh wait, shit! What? Oh wait, shit! <laughs> no, 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 no! Is it frozen? I pressed, I pressed continue and I forgot this game has cutscenes. <laughs> oh no! Don't worry, I closed Citra. I closed Citra. I'm reopening Citra. And then I will share with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, oh my, my terror. God. My um, absolute terror. Close the stream. Shut it down. Okay, Shut it I'm, down. I'm stopping, I'm stopping uh, the Nintendo music. Okay. Let me... Here so we go. funny. Like, just Here hear songs. I... Once again. Again. I hear Sonic Sorens because... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was during the summer in like high school. One of my friends taught me how to play the tune on the piano because we were waiting and doing rehearsals for a play. I like do 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 Okay, so, are, we, yeah, are we ready for the cutscene? Yes, ready. Let's fucking go. What dramas? Okay, we're back to the present. Oh, no, okay. The courtroom bombing incident. A terrible attack launched by the will of a madman. Why, it's, the text is going so slow. That incident perfectly symbolized the state of the legal world in this dark age of the law. <laughs> Mr. Wright brought it to a resolution of sorts. But I'm not satisfied. <laughs> but I'm not. I want more. <laughs> Apollo's up for blood. <laughs> Ted Tonight was discovered to be the one responsible for the bombing. Oh, I love, I love oh, how Apollo's giving us this refresher because this happened three cases ago. If only it were that simple. Somehow, I can't help but think... I forgot his... Devil smile. I fucking hate that man. That there's a darker influence at work. One that's lurking in the shadows, waiting. That's why I want to review the trial that was taking place when the bombing occurred. After all, I've got more than a few personal stakes in it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, I guess that was it. Are we not gonna you guys have like hear a fuzz? I don't hear a fuzz. Mm. Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're ready. <gasps> we're in space, baby. Why? But why? Oh God, the emulator struck. Yum. <laughs> this this might be extremely funny. Welcome to Asa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh the emulator! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone at Asa is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? This is what Max is sounded it? like when he is. Oh. Oh. Uh. uh oh. Fucky rip. <laughs> that is death. Mm, what to say? Oh. Base boosted death. <laughs> Do you copy? Base boosted. Heroics. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? I didn't know they made an adaptation of the Martian. Amogus <laughs> <laughs> the case. Amogus the case. Someone's being really sus in the med bay. <laughs> oh, I love this music. God damn it. This music, though. This it music. Struggling. <laughs> 
It is. It's struggling so hard. Oh, wow. two peas in a pod. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Stinky. Yaksa. Yaksa? <laughs> Yak no, that Yaksa? obviously says Asa. Oh, yeah. Oh. Excuse I'm me. Sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. Whew. I was so distracted by the fact that everybody was drunk. Oh my god, the I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? Gravity is different on the space station. That's oh, why okay. everyone sounds drunk. Oh my god. Um, are we going back in time again? Or oh god. yes. So <laughs> this, uh, we are not officially caught back up. This is the trial that they were prosecuting when uh the courtroom blew up. Right, because remember that the the bomb had detonated in the middle of a trial, um, and this is that trial. Okay. Yeah, I, Sarah, I also did not realize it started in court, so I guess we're fucking here though. Um, it, I say, it is a trial day one, so yeah. time for another trial to begin. But this one is different. Whom's? <laughs> I have no fucking. I'm so much about to do. Bye. It's funny every time. I love it every single time. <laughs> that was my that was my attempt to cheer you up, but um, are you alright, Apollo? You really changed since <laughs> that last court case, <laughs> Junie. <laughs> it was hey, this is this this is when I'm not wearing my school uniform, <laughs> you dingus. Oh, it, does that change your personality? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah, was I making a scary face just now? Oh, uh, well, hi, Juniper. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm fine. I was just doing my cords of steel exercises. Now I'm all ready to go. <laughs> yes, knowing you, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Oh, um, I, I brought you a present from my garden. Why is she here? Oh, not the lotus oh, root split. <laughs> Is this a uh, lotus root? I don't root? like the holes, but I do like yeah, lotus root. I don't- Yes, I... Mei Wuxian. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. My grandma Jennifer says lotus root root is good for your eyes. Do not- I, I feel like this is a slander against Wei Wuxian. I, no, I feel like I feel like if Apollo justice is anyone, it's he's giving very Jung Chong. He's Jung Chong. He's Jung yeah. Chong. I know. He's Jung Chong. I know. But anyway, um, you can use the Lotus is. Root, um, <laughs> like, to, okay, to like okay. use his like night eye cream or his eyeliner, and uh, it, you know it it, it means I, you I don't have to wear glasses anymore. I, I was just getting. <laughs> oh. She really even glasses? says that if you look through the holes, it can help you see into the future. I was just gonna I... slice it up and eat it, but thanks. Because you see, it's really weird. Because sometimes when I look through the holes, um, I see Thena, which is weird. Um, but then I put it back down. No, and, that you know, sounds gone, about so. right. Um, though that is kind of weird. But uh, you know what? Let's forget about it. <laughs> yeah, it's for good luck. Maybe later you can cook it and. Um... Uh, thanks for this. I I'm gonna have some right now. <laughs> oh, God. It's wrong. <laughs> you, need to, you need to risk that! Uh, kind of tough though. You're meant to. <laughs> you can't eat it raw. Um, but thank you for your the enthusiastic can't, try. You um, can't eat it. Here, I'm going to what? knit you. I'm going to knit you like a vomit bag. Um, <laughs> because it's gonna. <laughs> you, you, you can't eat it, eat it what now? You can't eat it raw. Oh. You what? definitely said roar. Yeah, <laughs> roar. The first time, and I was, I was suddenly thrown back into like a mid two thousand, <laughs> mid two thousand like roar. Like what? Like, like, roar? <laughs> it's roar. I like the the first time you said. It's every time raw. after that, every every time after that, you said it like like normally. Roar. But the first time there was definitely roar. <laughs> Like, roar? 
<laughs> Oops! If she didn't think me weird before, she will now. I I gotta calm down. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. Your girlfriend's been standing here waiting for you for ages. What are you doing? Hi, Tina. <laughs> Jenny! I didn't know you were coming today. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> uh, did you come to your follow on? <laughs> no, Athena, she came to cheer you on, bitch. Athena, uh, stop it. I refuse. <laughs> anyway, quit joshing around, Athena. The trial's about to start any second. Is everything all set? Oh, Apollo, Apollo. When will you ever figure it out? Figure out what? That you're a huge fucking lesbian? <laughs> Oops. Oops. Is that his friend? Wow, that was the longest sigh I've ever heard. Oh no, it's our defendant! Oh! <laughs> oh no. Oh, I forget his name. Who's who's taking him? Who is yes. it? This might be you. Oh, I think it is you, Mac. Looks, this looks like a Mac yeah. character. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like <laughs> it looks like his cousin. Yeah, we we yeah. we typecast ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mac. This I think this is you. Yeah, this is you. <sighs> this is it. It's all over for me. He does look like a pencil. They're gonna find me guilty. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. <clears throat> This is our client, one Mr. <laughs> Solomon Soul Starbuck. Hey, have you ever thought about opening up a chain? Um, <laughs> have you ever thought about getting into the coffee business? Um, moving out to Seattle, maybe? Any, any relation? Like, if this doesn't work out for you, and even if you're acquitted, but you can't be an astronaut anymore, maybe you could, like, have you ever been into coffee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a very famous like astronaut. Have you ever moving to Seattle? He's a very famous astronaut who happens to be an acquaintance of mine. You wouldn't know it right now, but he's usually a very upbeat and driven person. The scene of the crime this time happened to be the Cosmos Space Center. At Back ASA. In high school. Yeah, ASA. The, the home of ASA. That's also within walking distance from, from everywhere. Yeah. Back in high school, my friend and I went there almost a little too much. I don't That's know how best we got. Friend. Excuse I, me. I don't know how we got on the grounds because we were a bunch of troublemakers, but okay. That's where we met Mr. Starbuck. We'd ask about space travel, and he'd launch into story after story with so much passion. Back in those days, the man was 100% my hero. Because he was always on the ground and never in space. <laughs> yeah. My biggest problem with this case is that there's a privately owned space program, right? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. No. Man. What the okay. hell is that about? Are you sure you're okay with being my lawyer, Apollo? Of course I'm sure. I know you, Mr. Starbuck. I know you're not the type to commit murder. Thanks, but... <sighs> did do it. <laughs> but I, I did, did do it. Do it. <laughs> I was supposed to be in space right about now. This is why he can never get up, up to space, because he's always <laughs> in trial. <laughs> do, you, do you need an inhaler or something? Are you good? <laughs> he needs a space air. Have Judy sunflower. There's a space air. Uh, he, he opens the doors on the space station. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta suck in that vacuum of space. Mm. <laughs> Taste that stardust. Oh, I love it. <laughs> He's so depressed, it almost seems like an act. The launch getting called off must have been a huge shock. Well, I'll probably never get the chance to go into space again. Why? Don't say that. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that Don't feeling. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Besides, you just have to go into space again. Easy. Easy. Yeah. I don't think I could face Clay in the afterlife if I just rotted away in a cell. Ooh. Clay Terran. I can't believe he was murdered. 
I mean, he was such a promising astronaut under your command. Yeah, he was a good guy. Always there to pick me up when I was down. No one loved life as much as him, that's for sure. Clay Terran, his name literally means dirt and dirt. Not because he never left the ground, that's where he is now. Jesus! As you just <laughs> see! <laughs> oh, a second right? later when you made the same joke. <laughs> now he's in it. <laughs> where he belongs! <laughs> where no! he belongs! No! <laughs> Don't name your <laughs> kids after dirt! <laughs> Just don't name your kids mm. after dirt! <laughs> he was always so full of energy, telling me, You're fine, Mr. Starbuck! Oh! <sighs> How could something like this happen to a guy like him, huh? It is a super shame that Deej isn't here right now to see the scrungly. <laughs> 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 I've never seen Mr. Starbuck so down. <sighs> yeah, Apollo, do you want to talk about your feelings right now? I feel like he could leave Earth just by the power of his size. Right? <laughs> He's gonna, like... <laughs> Clay's gone, and I'm going to prison. I wish I could burn up like a shooting star right now. The delivery person is almost here. I'm like, will they figure out where my house is? <laughs> Mr. Starbuck, you'll be fine. What is it? What's with the yelling? I'll get to the bottom of this today. You'll see. And in exchange, I want you to go back into space for you and Clay. Promise? Does that mean you have <gasps> lots of evidence to prove my innocence? Bitch, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, what well. We are? About that. That's not the kind of operation we run here, Mr. Starbuck. <laughs> we uh, didn't get to investigate the area as much as I'd like, think to the police. I'm done for. I'm a goner. Oh. Everybody thinks I did it. Because <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thought I was going to soar like a comet. But I'm just going to crash like a meteor rat. No, don't say that, Mr. Starbuck. Don't count yourself out yet. Wait, he locked the breaker box? I didn't Jesus hear that. Jesus Christ. What? Ooh. Why would he do that? That's... <laughs> that seems a little extra. What the hell? Uh... I know it's hard to lose a teammate, but you've got to keep going. Do you, though? What about you, Apollo? What about me? I was just thinking, wasn't Clay your best friend? We need to focus on the trial right now. Are you all ready to go? We, we ain't talking about that shit. <laughs> Apollo. Apollo, you might be too close to this, like. Yeah. The trial is, the about, trial to is about to begin. Oh, oh, both with... of us are talking again. Oh, I thought <laughs> we were going to talk in unison like we like to. Okay. Okay, uh, if, the if the defense would please would proceed, please into, proceed the into the court. Oh my god, we need to work on that, Jerry. No, we don't. What? Oh, wait. Because I'm I... the one who always. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I mind. <laughs> don't. No, you don't. Paradise. You liar. Oh, Cowboy <laughs> minute. Yeah. And you married me. Jerry. <laughs> <Now. laughs> <laughs> You chose this at the <laughs> exact wrong time because my 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 order is literally almost here. Oh no! <laughs> that was great. We'll keep them company. So once we come back, I've got a minute. I'm making a good one. <laughs> oh fuck! Jerry's only got a minute. Ah! Oh, she is in traffic. Oh, 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 if that's the oh. fucking case. Hold on. Yay! Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll put the fucking yeah, head on the live text. Hey. Hello, partners. How you doing today? Hey. I'm doing my <laughs> fine. Um, grand, fine. grand, grand, grand. Rad as rain. <laughs> Rain's not usually rad. It tends to fall at a 90 degree angle sometimes. I mean, it's. Oh, is that okay. a fact? <laughs> no, it's not a fact. It's just what I feel in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Sometimes the gut knows. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'm once again dealing with the uh, horrible college Wi-Fi, and I, I'm not Jeez. enjoying it, let me tell you. Oh, well, maybe you can challenge it to fucking, a deal. Ch- not that fucking Unfortunately, it is, it is in fact <laughs> a, a electricity, so I cannot uh-huh. fight it. Don't know what that is, and I don't care. <laughs> What's this new thing? You like? thing? It's I had the, like I had the it's hat connected on backwards. to the telegraph downtown. All I know oh. is my, my, my damn horse and the wind in my hair. <laughs> horse. Same, same. Is that for you? I, I, the, most, the most technologically advanced thing I know is them darn trains. What the hell's <laughs> oh. up with them? The most the technologically know. advanced thing I know is the chemical reactions in my body when I see something that I love. It's <laughs> pronounced trans. I don't know much oh, trans. about trains, but I do know I, that I like them. Listen, no, I know a lot about the trans. I don't know anything about trains. <laughs> I like listen. it. Yeah, I don't know what that asked for in the word. Like, it was yeah. perfectly fine without it. I Typo. Exactly. Typo. Whoops. My bad. God, I love that Snorlax uh, partner there. It's so it fucking is He's so fucking so adorable. He's a whole flock of flock of a uh, of a uh, mighty fine Snorlaxes. It's let true. Them roam. Just let them roam. They... Maybe I should have said herd. Take me home. Because I didn't know that Snorlax Mr. could fly. Snorlax <laughs> to the place. <laughs> I love. West Canada, West, uh, Australia. I was trying to. I was trying to think of a no, Pokemon region true. that had three syllables to its name, but I cannot. West uh, Canto, Sin- like Sin- Western Canto. There it is. <laughs> San no, Fran City. You see, Kit, what he does is what he does is all he he's just he's just you know still sleeping in the air and he kind of uh-huh. flies like a like a jet plane, <laughs> like I a see. Boeing. See, Boeing yeah, here's seven, the thing: I don't know what a jet plane is, but I, what I do know is I got oh, I got to go heard get my food. It, I only heard about it in them fantasy books. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, the, rest of, the rest of you cow hands keep the people entertained while I go pick up some grub, huh? Hey, what do you think we've we been doing? Piss off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's bro time. Southern edition. Oh, uh, everybody, we are gathered here today for not just a bro but a bro union. We're gonna. <laughs> we've been unionizing uh, <laughs> against our almighty, uh, uh, well, not so mighty, really, uh, uh, host, uh, whom we love very much, but uh, we are getting some power back. Uh, oh, and we, yeah. yeah, we're here Indeed. to celebrate our bro Chimoti, our love, uh, and we're all so honored to have you here today. Would you what like to hear some are you of the bro about? Uh, Nothing that concerns you! What?! Cowboy Kit! Cowboy Kit, we are making a stand for a bro What have I done to you? Have I not? You yelled at me when I said it was going to be a little late. And that was not a thing. I I yelled at you in a jesting manner. You told Becca that that she had fucked. Uh, we won't stand yeah. for that you does not stand. count as an official resentment of employment also you, none of you all are employed by me anyway I don't know why you paid paid that in mind is that we why I haven't been getting the paycheck I just thought <laughs> you were being real real, real, real stingy real, real no nah, I don't even get a paycheck listen <laughs> god damn <laughs> Thing. We're doing charity work here, y'all. I thought y'all understood that when you signed on. Shit. Well, now I'll have to quit, I guess. What? You know what? what? I'm gonna, you know this what? is I'm the last legally bold band, I guess. 
<laughs> for the third the or fourth the or something it's time this is Out the, the goodness of my heart, i'm gonna stay on because i kind of like you folks just a little bit oh, so, she i am i am you're making this old cow hand blush. I don't know why we exclaim about footwear when we're all so touched by something, but... <laughs> Shoot. Well, that's just that's a cowboy just way, partner. Us. What, admiring of shoes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Only if I'm honking them. With, like, a tea <laughs> at the end of <laughs> <laughs> Well, you get what? on great with my grandfather. He's a cobbler. <laughs> Thank you for the cowboy minute, Jerry. <laughs> We're putting an end to this. Such a journey. <laughs> now, like just what tarnation's going on? Uh, nothing's going on, Sam. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I Hi, know Sam. Absolutely Hi, no Sam. clue what you're talking Hi, about. Hi, Sam. How the heck are you, Sam? We, um, had, a, got my... we had a group hallucination. That's all. Yeah. I love to get my food and all chaos broke loose, I guess. It was already broken loose, Kit. One moment. True. Oh! Oh, oh, oh Branwen moment? We got another Branwen moment. I forgot that, um, Sonic you gives in, you- I know. Are you still in the southern accent? <laughs> I keep slipping into it. I forgot that Sonic gives you mints. They give you peppermints. Like, what? Ooh. No. Gross. Yeah, yeah, what did you did get, Did they actually? not salt my fries? They give me a little salt packet. Ugh. Bro! Salt the fries! <laughs> Do you guys have chicken salt? Um, not, no. uh, not, like, generally available. I've seen that in some herb aisles, but it's not something that you, like, just Oops. get at the, at a fast food joint or something. What's mm. chicken salt? Is chicken salt? Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's like this, hang on. I need to really look it up to see what it actually fucking is. Um, yeah. it's a garlicky season originally intended for rotisserie chickens. Oh, okay, so it doesn't actually have it. Really. It's like no, duck it has sauce. This, yeah, it has umami and rich flavors. Um, Does it have MSG? Apparently, it is an entirely Australian seasoning. Oh! Hmm. Yeah, that's why, um, yeah, like, it's a, a huge thing here. I mean, it's not exactly available at every fast food, <laughs> um, but like it is typical. It's like enough. you can ask for chicken salt. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta sort my shit out. Sam, <laughs> in space with Markiplier. <laughs> Turn about in space with Markiplier. Turn about in space with Markiplier. What? <laughs> That's what Sam's calling this case, and I thought it was oh. funny. Dude, it is funny. And it's I mean, probably about trauma, you know? What? Just, what was that sound? I just yawned. Oh, I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was Mac making a sound of agony far no! off in the distance. <laughs> I was like, excuse was... me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just I yawned. I ran yawned and you just described it as a sound of agony. <laughs> I did. I did. It sounded agonizing. It did not sound like a, sa a sound of agony. You're fine, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, I've been... I worked for four hours at the archive today and then when I got home and I was like, my brain Ooh. doesn't want to do anything else right now. Wait, so. Sarah, Ooh, I, I, I just saw yeah. your previous message. Apparently the devs considered making Edgeworth the victim here? What? Yo, what? I would have also well, rioted if they killed Edgeworth off in this game. <laughs> I would have been so mad. So, Bye, so fucking mad. <gasps> Jerry. Bye, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. I Bye, Jerry. I'm, Bye, Jerry. I'm Love you. sorry, Claire, Tara, Taryn. Hardly knew you, but I'm glad you're dead instead of Edgeworth. Yeah, listen. <laughs> if one of them had to go... It'd be like it. It it would be clay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, also, it still says Turnabout Academy Final Day Trial. <gasps> oh, got you. Shit. Shit. Good thank you, eyes, thank you for, Mac. Thank My you eyes just glossed Mac. over that. <laughs> yeah, I just saw. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> and let me play among the stars. 
Even though it's a vacuum. Ring is like oh, I shouldn't be you. out there. Jupiter, Jupiter and Mars. Mars. Wait, where does it say that? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> I was like, I, I remember to update the stream info. It was the stream itself that I forgot to. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. where okay. Is? Oh, here we go. Okay. Properties. Uh, the cosmic turnabout. Uh, trial, day one, seven. Oh, it's fucking Friday, alright. It's 26, 2022. Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, I forgot to read blog, my Out of Touch Thursday. Oh, yeah, Out of Touch. I have to remember to do it on Fridays. <laughs> That's why I got so confused the first time I posted it on Wednesday. Because I overcorrected myself. <laughs> so I posted it on the fucking Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Of the... Wow. <laughs> thank anyway, you sorry. For, for hiding my shame, uh, Kit. I, I, I appreciate it. All right. Back to this. Would you like me to say my line now? Go ahead and say it again. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is it. This is the one trial I can't afford to lose. Because if I do, I'll right have a way. fucking breakdown, probably. Oh. Right this way so I can make out with my husband. Uh oh. Okay. Get out of here. Jerry, <laughs> this is the time. His friend this is the died. Time. <laughs> yeah, his friend died. Show a little sympathy. No. Sorry. Okay. Jeremy you know I'm the one that's lying, bitch. right? Yeah. So. <laughs> Red Queen's <laughs> the one that's lying. I'm the one that always tells the truth. <laughs> sometimes Rand, though, is the cherry other Jerry. Yeah. yeah but you know, sometimes I get come in. Um, I am the weird Geronimo that has a crush on the judge. <gasps> <laughs> Doki Doki. <laughs> For Clay's sake and our clients, I will find Clay's killer. I don't know, bro. I think you should maybe go to therapy and let uh, Phoenix and Athena uh, yeah. take care of this one. <laughs> Just saying. I would, I would, dude. I'm right here. You need some <laughs> grief counseling, <laughs> like. Yeah, I got. I, I can give you some a therapy session right fucking now. <laughs> um, She's fucking ass. Thank you, but I really don't want to do my therapy in the middle of court. <laughs> Like most people. <laughs> you know, people no don't have a choice session. sometimes. <laughs> and they shouldn't. <laughs> Court is no in session for the child of Solomon. <laughs> Let Max say his life. Oh! Oh, hello? Oh? Oh? I thought, I, thought the, uh, I thought the eye thing was caused by the explosion. Yeah. But apparently it was not. I remember what the eye thing is about. The defense is ready, Shut Victor up. Honor. <laughs> Don't tell us. Excuse me, Mr. Justice? There's nothing wrong, <laughs> Victor Honor. What happened to your eye? Absolutely no nothing. Victor Honor, you're not allowed to ask <laughs> about that. What the hell? I'm fine. The defense is ready, Victor Honor. Oh, he'd seen enough. Uh, are, you, are you sure about that? I'm fine, bitch, your honor. The defense is ready. I'm sorry, bitch, your honor. He didn't have breakfast. He's a little angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neither has he had grief counseling. <laughs> yeah, he, he's been like this since yesterday. He keeps insisting it's just a sty. A sty. Oh, mm. Becca, that's like a... I've, ha I've had like two of those in the past like couple I've years. I've had one. I've had They're one. fucking yeah. terrible. Um... It's like a little inflammation. It's basically almost like a zit that appears on your eyelid. Um, but it's, it's like, not a zit. Though. Yeah, it's not a zit. It's like inflamed. It, I think it is technically a cyst or something like that, but it's inflamed and it's red. And it's really tender. It makes your eyes water. It makes you want to rub your eye, but rubbing your eye hurts. And like the only thing you can do is like put a warm uh, towel on it and hope it goes away. <laughs> I see. Okay. It's the worst. <laughs> I hate them so much. Apollo even spiked up his hair at the nape of his neck. No, that's how you know he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> he's bristling. 
<laughs> Literally. <laughs> Those haunches are raised. Hmm. I suppose it's something he doesn't want to discuss. You think? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Maybe he's entering a touchy age. He's in his 20s. Bitch, your honor, I'm 25. I think. No, I think I'm 24. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Shit, I'm not in the court record. We'll never know. <laughs> I can look it up. I got you. I'm on. I'm on it. Follow Justin. Yeah, I'm well. 23, bitch, your honor. He's 23. He's 23. <laughs> Ooh, getting kind of cranky. The terrible twos. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. The prosecution? That's you again. What happened to you Oops. that made it so... Uh, <laughs> uh, Winston Gaspin Payne had to be here. Right? <laughs> the prosecution appears to be ready as well. Silence. Oh? Silence. He's like, I did not say that. <laughs> um, it looks like both the defense and the prosecution are a bit angry today. Not yet. I'm not quite ready yet. Oh? Uh-huh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm fine. Simon said the gloves are coming off immediately. <laughs> uh, the prosecution. Is now ready. Fuck, uh, I love him. Well, it didn't take him long this time. Mm. What's up with Blackwell? Like, I know why I'm an Anki, but why is he Anki? Now then, I shall give the opening statement. Silence. Oh, silence! No. Fuck. <laughs> Wrong on all accounts. I'll do it. You will? What an unexpected surprise! Simon Blackwell <laughs> wants to do his job? Wow! This time, I can't leave it to anyone else. You should. I, I see. Hmm. Something is off with the two of you today. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you both seem different somehow. Can't put my finger on it. Here. Oh. <laughs> Athena's like, uh, both of y'all need therapy. She's minutes away. This is a bad day oh, for us. I have Shama. my finger on the fucking Believe. trigger, bro. She does. I will throw Widget against the wall if you try to do that shit right now, Dykestomo. Just fucking try me, bitch. Like, <laughs> Wait, hang on. Mr. Blackwell, you're literally threatening her aid? <laughs> bro. That's like, like bro. someone seeing eye dog, like... <laughs> Great. He has no, no, no words. He ha okay. Yeah, no words. There's no coming back from that, like, bro. You can't. It's like, fine, I, I won't, I won't disrupt Bridget's. Very well, Prosecutor Blackwell. Your opening statement, <laughs> if you would. <laughs> it was just yesterday. Crimes in question occurred at the Cosmos Space Center. Ah, that famous federal research facility of all things related to astrology, right? Yeah, definitely. Also, wait, yeah, no, it does that say federal. Knows about. It does say federal. It doesn't say that it's private. Mm -hmm. <laughs> astronomy. It's astronomy. Anyway, a rocket was set to launch from there. At 9.28 a.m., before they could even move the rocket to the launch site... ...few explosive devices were detonated, and the launch was cancelled. My word! Two bombs? How dreadful. That's worse than one bomb. Like, the two defendant... times worse. Yes. <laughs> the defendant in today's trial was charged with both the bombing and with murder. One, Mr. Solomon Starbuck. 
For whatever inane reason, he detonated a bomb on the rocket he himself would be in. You think that would disqualify him from being a suspect? <laughs> like, who would do that? <laughs> I'm getting to the point. Solomon I Starbuck? Did. I recognize that name. Isn't that the famous coffee chain? <laughs> no. It's, he's an astronaut. He hasn't gone into a second career yet. He may never will at this point. Correct, bitch your baldness. Mr. Starbuck <laughs> was the pilot of the Hat One rocket seven years ago. Seven years? As you may recall, despite some interstellar trouble, his mission was a success. Some say it was a miracle he returned alive. I suppose you could say he's a living legend. Now I kind of forget the name of the actual real-life astronaut that they're kind of Buzz like- Buzz Aldrin. Oh, that might have been it. But but with Buzz Aldrin on that, um, that mission to the moon where like everything went wrong on the return trip and like they had to manually pilot the spaceship. Oh no, that's like- I think that's the Apollo Was that Apollo 13? 13? Okay. I think that's Apollo 13. I don't know who was on that, but... Oh, wait, no, Sam, he's got his cuffs on. He just broke the chain between them, so he can move mm -hmm. his hands freely. But you'll see, yeah. like, his, his... It's like the chain is... Uh, it's like he's got some fashionable bracelets now. <laughs> yeah. That's all. <laughs> ah, I remember now. He's become something of an international celebrity, right? <laughs> Look at yeah. there! They even turned yeah. that incident into a movie and everything. You mean the Martian? <laughs> We've got a real space pioneer in court today. The yeah, Hat he's standing trial miracle? for mur murder. <sighs> but even heroes tumble from their lofty heights. Returning to the subject at hand. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Apparently it was Jim Lovell, Jack Swinger, and Fred Hayes were on the Apollo oh. 13 mission. Good for, the, good for them for getting through it. God. Right? I, I remembered talking about that in school, and they were like, the amount of precision they had to have when piloting it manually back to, like, breach the Earth's atmosphere and get back safely was like, they basically thought they were going, like, they solved every other issue that they run into on the return trip. But they were like almost convinced that they were just going to burn up in the atmosphere because they weren't going to be able to enter it at the right angle. Mm -hmm. But they did it. Those motherfuckers did it. They made it back alive. Like shout out to yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even fucking imagine. Ah, uh, yes. The victim was one Clay Terran, a subordinate of the defendant. Indeed. A loyal disciple brutally stabbed to death by his mentor. Stabbed to death, you say? You mean his death wasn't a result of the bombing? Correct. Despite his lofty dreams, the victim was seen as an interloper by the defendant. Okay. So, he was not sent into space, but to the universe which we mortals cannot see. Clay. I think I've heard enough. The case seems pretty clear-cut at this point. Oh, that was! <laughs> However, there's one thing I'm curious about. That metal box next to the witness stand. Huh? Whoa, what? what is that? <laughs> oh god, That is my memories. emotional support box. Oh. Since you asked so nicely, it's your coffin. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's funnier than what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what you said was still pretty funny, though. Yeah, that was no, pretty no, no, funny. No, no, right? no. That beats. That beats it. I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm, I'm what I'm saying is. Your joke was like up here, it's just that other joke was like a step above it. <laughs> mm -hmm. They can both be good and one still be better. <laughs> <laughs> I jest. 
its evidence. Due to its immense size, we have little choice but to lay it where it rests now. We shall get to the contents of the box in due time. Oof. I feel like I just lost 50 years off my life. Um... <laughs> she said what we were all thinking. <laughs> Does he even have fifty years left? Inner monologue, Athena. Inner monologue. <laughs> Enough jabbering. <laughs> Bobby Fulbright's My winning. God. In justice, we trust. Whistles like he normally does for Taka, and Bobby shows up. What the fuck? Uh, they they just. Wow. Their energy. They just... Oh, wow. Detective Fulbright. Very well, then. Please explain the details of this incident to the court, if you would. Please. On it. First, take a look at this pamphlet from the Cosmos Space Center. No, Bobby, you're supposed to... Take a look at this pamphlet! Oh, take a look at this pamphlet! In oh. it, you'll find a diagram outlining Beautiful. the overall layout of the Space Center. We'll work on Did it. Did I do it? We'll work on it. I, I think he I think he did a great job, Apollo. <laughs> Thank you. I think I think there's room for improvement, Athena. He's just touchy today. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. Perhaps eat a cliff bar. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm eating all this Sonic right now? <laughs> like, you're not you're not you and you're hungry. <laughs> all right. Yes me a cliff bar. On it! <laughs> For a more detailed look at what's on the left side of this building. Take a look at this cross section that the police have created. Okay, that was a little bit better. <laughs> Let's see the launch pad in the main building. Oh, welcome back, Maine. If there is a fully Welcome heterosexual back. explanation for Bobby Fulbright and Simon Blackwell, then I would love to hear it. <laughs> there is none! But yeah, there is none. There's, it doesn't exist. There is not really exist. none. <laughs> the launch pad is the square building, and the rounded structure is the main building, right? Good job, Judge! The incidents took place in launch pad 1 in the main building's lounge. I'll be using the diagram during my testimony. It'll make it easier to understand. Okay, so we have to point out some discrepancy in the diagram, apparently. Is what I'm getting from this. <laughs> Just before the rocket was sent to launch, two bombs went off. Boom! Boom! Those fucking sound effects! <laughs> I'm very good at them. You are? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, he's quite skilled. One on the second floor of the Space Center's main building, and one in Launch Pad 1. There's a lot of ones in that sentence. Yeah. Thankfully, only the two astronauts were in the Launch Pad 1 at the time. The two of them managed to make it back as far as the as far as the boarding lounge. But after the escape, one of the two was found stabbed to death! Okay. Hmm. A murder on top of a bombing? Detective, the victim was already dead by the time you arrived at the lounge, correct? Yup. Thinking he'd sabotaged the bombing, the defendant attacked and killed the victim. Just look at this tragic photo! Ah! God! Oh, God! Oh my, is is that a knife in the victim's chest? Oh, imagine Apollo, oh, poor Apollo has to look at this. Right. Yeah. Yes, your oh, honor. It's okay. the knife that cruelly ended this young man's dreams. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get any prints off it though, because the defendant was in his space suit. Okay, anybody could be wearing gloves, bitch. Mm. <laughs> Not unless it's special? part of their approved uniform. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Detective Fulbright, why are the victim's helmet and right glove absent in this photograph? Good fucking question. We had to remove them to identify him, bitch your honor. Why the I... hand? 
Well, I personally removed his glove during the investigation. Weirdo. I like to hold their hands to make them feel better. <laughs> He was gone. <laughs> Don't touch my dead friend. <laughs> we had to get his fingerprints to confirm his identity after you could, all. It's not like he, his face was burned off in a fire. Like <laughs> He could right. be anybody. Oh right. They they don't like it. They don't care. And you were tampering with evidence when you hold their hands after death. Here's the thing. <laughs> we have talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> I won't stop anytime soon. Apollo Please. covered the <laughs> Apollo covered the eye on the side of the display screen. Oh. R.I.P. Hmm. Yeah, it would be very difficult to identify him without a face or fingerprints. Yeah, but luckily he had a face, and they have photo IDs. <laughs> Now there's just one more thing I'd like to inquire about. What is this round thing next to the victim in this photo? Something so important to the victim, he took it with him as he escaped the launch pad. Oh. A capsule that apparently contains asteroid samples. Well, obviously valuable for research purposes, it has no relation to this case. He does it now. Does it, though? Does it? Hmm. I see. So, we know that the bomb in the main building was on the second floor. But where was the bomb that was in the launch pad located? And that was in launch pad one located. <laughs> that one was on the rocket itself. It was situated around the central part of the rocket. Apparently, the area around the launch pad's elevator was a sea of flames. I would like to submit this diagram and report into the record. The trial's just started and we're already in a bind. You get used to it. Besides, that's what cross-examination is for, right? What the two astronauts were doing during the bombing, that'll be the key. I think this testimony is one that we just have to like press around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I don't, I don't like see any like contradiction yeah. or anything really. We're still in an that. information gathering phase. How powerful were the explosions? Well, the one in the main building wasn't strong enough to bring the place down, but the room it went off in was burned black. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Except my also, friend. Also, it went ba boom. <laughs> Due in large part, of course, to me stepping up to lead the evacuation. You You're were welcome. there? What? <laughs> what were you doing there in the first place, Detective Fulbright? <laughs> I'm Bobby Fulbright, Hero of Justice. I'll be there wherever and whenever people need my help. That is Just literally, a literally a non answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go to the other side of the world, or even the edge of the universe. So, so why, why weren't you there when my friend died, huh? No comment! I'm not sure he knows how far that actually is. And I guess I'll leave that one alone. Admiral decision, Justice Donut. Why are you able to read my inner thoughts now, too? <laughs> because... Well... That's a story for another day. What? <laughs> huh? What do you decide? Hey, you're uh, a fool. Yeah. Anyway, could you describe what it was like at the space center at that time? The bomb cut the power to the central bank of elevators and the third floor lounge. It was pitch black in there, I tell ya. However, the security cameras and whatnot were running on emergency backup. And how did the evacuation go? I immediately and heroically whisked people down to the Space Center's basement shelter. The basement shelter? Yes, there is an emergency shelter beneath the Space Center. An emergency shelter, huh? Oh, here it is. It's at the bottom of the diagram. Space Center is pretty impressive to have its own shelter. The 
bombs went off despite tight security. Police officers and riot police who had been standing by gave the evacuation instructions. Okay, that's more of an answer than I'll show up wherever they had police on standby. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The power outage and evacuation seem unrelated to the murder at this point. I guess I'll leave that aside for now. So there were two explosions in total, correct? Yep, that's right. Okay. Why those two places? Oh, let me get this straight. Mr. Starbuck rigged a rocket he was going to board with explosives? Huh? What are you talking about? If the defendant really did plant the bomb on his own rocket, he'd get caught in the explosion as well, dumbass! Oh, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> yeah, apparently neither of you had. <sighs> Fine, a simpleton for a simpleton. This is not a- this is a simple question, yes, but I think it's an important one, bitch. Fulbright, the motive. Understood. The defendant actually had astrophobia. What? Uh, astrophobia? What's that? <laughs> simpleton for simpleton. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fear. A fear of space, naturally. Just a thought of space can cause the afflicted to freeze up. Uh. And so, in his terror, the defendant found a way to stop the launch at the last minute. Excuse but. Me. But. That's absurd. I already went to space. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, we have evidence. Take a look at these! <laughs> uh, what are those? They're saying he developed it? The fear? Oh. I think these, so. Yeah. These anti-anxiety tablets were found among the defendant's possessions. Apparently, he was taking them in secrets to quell his fears. Oh, well, that's not fair to, like... Oh, that's... This is good. Right! This... This is not to blame him for medicating his anxieties. It is just a point of evidence that he did not want to go back into space. There were a multitude of problems with the rocket Mr. Starbuck rode seven years ago. Rumor has it, it threatened to crash a number of times as well. That was, of course, very traumatic for Mr. Starbuck. Objection! Objection! But that doesn't mean he'd go so far as to blow up his own ship. He could quit! <laughs> Silence. Silence! Yeah, he could quit and open a coffee shop. I'm sure he'd be really good at it. The defendant couldn't dare to mar his good name, now could he? Does he seem like an egomaniac to you? I've seen all sorts. No, not after the media have branded him Soul Starbucks Space Pioneer Extraordinaire. Also, in these Deej. conditions. Deej. Welcome Deej. back! Deej. Deej. Welcome back! Welcome, Deej. Welcome back to the case over your, your dead scrungly. Okay, sorry, I'll say the line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Given these conditions, the defendant could hardly run away like some base mutt. What? So that's why you think he resorted to the bombing? Deej, I'm so violently angry for you. <gasps> Drive to Home Depot? <laughs> Bye! Oh my god. Oh no. To break open the lockbox? <laughs> God, yeah, because your landlord didn't fucking do anything. What the fuck? Ah. Good for you, but I'm sorry you had to do it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm glad you're here with us now, though. Mm-hmm. It's good to have you. Naturally, he constructed this act of sabotage in an attempt to blow up the space center which would effectively abort the launch and spare his reputation. Uh. Now, I'm sure you understand why we have to bring justice down on this atrocious criminal. I don't... <laughs> Hold it! 
Are you sure that it was only the two of them? It was just before the spaceship was set to launch, so of course it was only those two. Uh, well, there could have been somebody else inside that rocket. Silence. Uh, Silence. Uh, Apollo. <laughs> The notion of a third party in Launchpad 1 is utterly absurd. Just to enter the area from the lounge, one must pass through a door guarded by a fingerprint recognition device. Oh, that's why his glove is off. Yeah. And allow me to state up front that there are precious few with the clearance to do so. Or they could have used his hand if he were unconscious. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. A fingerprint recognition device? It sounds as futuristic and complex as a space center. Actually, it's not as amazing as you think, bitch, your honor. <laughs> Take a look at this photo! <laughs> what? This is the door in the lounge with the fingerprint lock. Yeah, Only his was off to wipe his hand on pants. To mm. wipe hand on pants. He was just following the rules. Yeah. Only personnel whose fingerprints are registered can pass through. Hmm, I see. That is very different F from what I had in mind. Why did he say that line so slowly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, was very... <laughs> he was deliberating. And is there a record of the number of people that passed through that door yesterday? Yes, there were only three. The defendant, the victim, and... The director of the Space Center, Yudi Cosmos. <gasps> Becca. Then doesn't that mean it's possible that the director is the one who did it? Not a chance. It was in the main building when the bombs exploded at 928. Could have waited. Mm -hmm. It could have been a timer. God. Do you mean his Literally. job directing the launch? Besides having an alibi, he has no motive for committing these senseless acts. I'm sure. I'm sure we won't uncover any motive at all. He has a point. I guess the director can't be considered a suspect then. Don't give up so soon, Apollo. <laughs> the fact that the center is named for the director is why I thought this was a private space. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, no, they said it was federal, so... Um... Which makes a hell of a lot more sense. <laughs> even, I'm sorry, even... guys. I gotta feed. I gotta feed the baby. Oh, I'll go feed back the baby. Do we want to take just a short little break? Uh, sure. We've been going for two hours, so I just realized I've been munching down on my dinner, but um, sure. Y'all haven't had a chance to take a Wait. break, so <laughs> it's already been an hour. <laughs> huh? It's been two it's hours. No, since we started playing, I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, whoop. Turn that off. Um, yeah, let's take a, a brief little break. The Sonic is mediocre. It's okay. <laughs> but I'm going to drink the rest of the shake. Um, yeah, have a raffle. We will be right back.
We back. The shirt has come off. I'm Woo! getting too oh, sweaty. Oh, I was like, oh, you're <laughs> back. Like, wait, what? What <laughs> was if, like, what if that? You? What if that was the way that I revealed that I had had top surgery one day? Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, say wrong. absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, you know, I don't stream for a couple weeks because I'm going through it, and then I come back and I'm like. You know why? It's getting way too hot in here. The shirt's coming off, and everybody's like, wait, get it! <laughs> God, that was I, really I, funny. I, I beg of you to do it that way. I beg of you to do it that way. Now you guys are all anticipating it, though. It would um, be so hard to not reveal it. Right, that's the thing. I would be like, I would be like, literally, I would have to sit on my hands. I'd have to, like, block all of you. Um, for a couple of weeks so that I didn't no. be like, hey, so, uh, actually not even a couple of weeks. It would be like, as soon as, oh, fucking the Wii Sports theme. Um, uh, I, would, I would have to block classic. you for like months because I would, I would get the date or whatever. And I would, yeah. I would be like, I can't tell anybody. I can't tell anybody. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell anybody for like Long. months. <laughs> right? God. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. As great as the sports, the Wii Sports medley is. Let's get back to this. <laughs> oh, uh, where's where's my sound? Is it still running for you guys? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, Ren. Um. Okay, we haven't pressed. It. That's what we were doing. So, while it would appear that our, the pair barely escaped with their lives, in actuality, one of them had already been murdered inside the rocket. That's the angle the prosecution wants to push, correct? You got it! In fact, that's what I've been trying to say this whole time! And failing. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've certainly gone a uh, roundabout way of it. Uh... Acts of service are my love language. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Not words. Hi, Kai. How are you today? <laughs> if the victim had been alive, he would have for sure tried to stop the bombing. Is there any chance Mr. Taran... Uh, Taran? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Is there any chance Mr. Taran... Could have been killed before he boarded the rocket. They were both alive and well at boarding time and embarked under their own power. Their hearts full of hopes and dreams okay. of space. You don't have to remind us of how tragic this is. And then Cry. Both of their hopes and dreams are dashed. If I may continue my explanation, after the evacuation order was given, I may not. I'll continue. The defendant made his escape, carrying the victim to make it look like a rescue. Okay, unless Clay was stabbed in the lounge, which is what I think happened. Hold it. I don't think he was stabbed on the rocket. And who was the first to find the victim? Actually, there were two of them. Space Center Director. Yuri Cosmos. Detective Candace Arm. Candace Arm. There's Arm Fitten. <laughs> <laughs> Beck and I were oh, two no. entirely separate routes with that <laughs> Candace Arm Fit in your ass. <laughs> well, Arm is sure fit somewhere in this court right now, as we know. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, One of them was the a box. detective. <laughs> Wait, was that the whole thing? She was dead the whole time in the box? Fuck! Yeah! Oh, I thought she hadn't died until... I can't, I can't remember was... anything from the first. I remember she was the victim from the very first case. She's the I couldn't victim remember... from the first... I couldn't remember she's at been, what point she had died. Whole... <laughs> she's been dead this whole time. Well, she's, she's been dead, dead for at 20 this years. point <laughs> in time, I think. I think she's okay. dead at this point. Unless she shows up. Um, if she shows up, we're gonna have to scramble because I don't think we have anybody signed to her. <laughs> no. Yep. 
Detective Arm specializes in bombings, you see. Yeah, because she can disarm. Yeah, her parents named her very <laughs> aptly. <laughs> She and the director were ordering the evacuation following the explosion. Yours named yours, uh, you a little inaptly. That hurts. <laughs> it was meant to. Oh. I feel bad for every person named Candace in the world ever, you know? Like, they, they don't deserve this. Yeah. <laughs> they this don't is deserve Candace that this is Candace Slander. They were also worried about the astronauts, so they hurried over to the boarding lounge. That's when they discovered the victim along with the defendant. Oh, Candace is literally dead in the box right now, and there's bloody writing under it as we speak. Wow! Yep, ah! yep, yep, yep. This, this whole... We this love whole thing, this. This, 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 this is so... It gets more fucked up by the minute. It <laughs> really does. It really fucking does. Two witnesses, huh? And one of them is a detective. I doubt either one would have anything to say that would help me. I think that pretty much covers the details of the case. I would say so. Only the victim and the defendant were on the launch pad when the former was killed. If this is the truth, then only Mr. Starbuck could have carried out this crime. Oh, uh, see, and that, Sarah, that makes that, uh, that joke that Simon made earlier, like, <laughs> he's like, it's your coffin. Uh, it's not the dreadful <laughs> coffin. It is someone else's coffin, though. Let's not. And Sarah. Oh, <laughs> Don't Jesus. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. A blast from the past. I wonder if he's <laughs> actually in this case. I don't think he would be. Anyway. Oh, crap. <laughs> I hope he's not. When I hope so too. Hi, welcome back. Hey. Hello. Oh, welcome what back did I in. miss? Uh, we realized that uh, Candace Arm, that detective that died in <laughs> the very first case, is currently dead in the box in the courtroom, and there's bloody oh, writing underneath God. the box. Yeah. So, oh, and we, we were we were just like. Well, that makes that joke that Simon made about the box being the, the judge's coffin. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, that sours that a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I hadn't laughed at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It, it's, it's a little, it's a little macabre. It's like a dark, edgy humor now. Oh, I know. <laughs> but it's just, you know, in the hindsight of it, instead of like realizing it at the time yeah. is different. <laughs> Well, you're like, oh, <laughs> she can't disarm no more. No, <laughs> what you say? Mm, what little I, <laughs> what little I could get out of him only hurt my case. Justice Dono, malicious the lawyer who rushes headlong into battle. Preparation is an essential element of battle, so I advise you to gander at this. Oh. Wow, he did it too! I'm wow! So <laughs> what is it? A CD? Yeah, what is this? Come the on. 90s? <laughs> Footage from a security camera. He knows what a CD is. <laughs> <laughs> the two astronauts he know? converged. Does he though? <laughs> Does he Has though? he used one? This As is what, 2020 ash? something? This, oh, yeah. right, I looked this up. Simon was theoretically born in 1999. <laughs> oh my He's god! My same year. Same year. Yes. Maya. Same as. Yeah, it, it, that's then, another baffling thing. This is like when people tell you that like uh, MLK Jr. and and Frank were like born in the same like uh, yeah, year or like whatever. This, this it's, like, it's like it's like you cannot you cannot comprehend. But yes, is Maya, he... Francisca, and Simon are all the same age. <laughs> I'm older than him. Huh? Yeah. I'm older than Simon. That's weird. Right? I'm older than Simon. <laughs> yeah, I'm older than Simon. Raise your yeah. hand if you're older than Simon. I am. I am. Yeah. But you're younger. 
<laughs> One year younger. You were so close. Hold on. Is is Apollo Gen Z? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what? Wild. I mean, I, I mean, by, I, I would, I would also consider Simon Gen Z. Yeah, like <laughs> that's they're fair. both Gen that's, Z. That's fair. That's that's. that's I'm on the cusp, that. and it's a really weird I, place I, to be. No one can I don't decide which generation. Uh, yeah, that that five year gap, uh, but like between like two thousand and like two thousand or, or like nineteen ninety eight and like two thousand three is always like. Hmm. <laughs> the the transition period between the two. Oh no, I would Wait, say no. it's about 1995 to. Yeah, um... basically, I was born in 1995, and mm -hmm. it's just it's this weird thing where it's like technically you're a millennial, but are you really? But I called a millennial my whole life, uh, and then now. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, we oddly relate to Gen Z at the same time, and it's like. Yeah. Yeah. I literally remember using cassette tapes and D and CDs in the same um, player. I... Fucking weird. So weird. <laughs> they put okay, the CD will... in. Lemon Demon starts to play. The metal box opens. Out climbs. Oh god, it's Neil <laughs> Sierra. It's Neil fucking <laughs> <laughs> I still need to listen um, to Lemon Demon. <gasps> We're the same age as Desiree and Ron? Yes, I was about yes. to point that out. I was waiting for an oh opening, God. but holy shit. Oh, wait, and Sarah, you're the same age as Mac and I? Oh my God, same age, friends. <laughs> you're all 26. 96. We're all born I'll in 96. I'll be 26 for another month or so. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, I, remember, okay. I remember one time um, on our way down to like St. Louis or something. When I think it was like when I was still in high school, it was like the the cutoff for um, if you are a Gen Z or millennial is if you saw someone dab when you were in high school. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did see someone dab in high school. I did not. I never saw well, that. Actually, no. Did I? Shit. I might have been in college by the time dabbing came. I saw my cousins dab, <laughs> and they're much younger than I am. I think I was also, no, I don't know if it was uni or if it was my last year of high school. No oh, idea. you saw people dab in, in your last like, year I, of high school? <laughs> oh. Maybe, I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, I, it was a very fuzzy year dabbing. for me. I had an operation that year. Like, <laughs> oh, fair, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that would also uh, make things difficult. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll continue. As the two astronauts emerged from the bowels of the Launchpad 1 corridor... Do you little dabble? Well, do you? Do you? Well... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the board... I do. The board lounge security camera captured their desperate escape. Oh, what's God, I don't number? think you had a full boyfriend. Blackwell would love had a full boyfriend. Oh my God, Blackwell he really would. would. He belongs Simon in that would series. Simon would be so happy. <laughs> oh my, oh, oh, okay. Just got an idea. Simon uh -huh. and Fulbright as had to full boyfriend mm. birds. Oh yes. my God. Yes. Please, God. Please. The fan art I never knew I needed. I Come needed on. so badly. <laughs> Please. Oh, wait, now, did you say this? I, oh, never mind. I, I don't think I did, so I, I'll say it. Now, I would direct your attention to what the defendant is shouldering. Which you can see is none other than the lifeless body of the victim. Is he lifeless or unconscious? Because Conscious! I, like, <laughs> what? what? Because why would he drag his body back if he was dead like we don't want to destroy the evidence more or something right like, it's yeah. like why not leave him there and be like oh the bomb killed him i don't know <laughs> order order i say this this lines up exactly with what the prosecution has been asserting oh my god <laughs> yeah it lines in perfect with their narrative yeah i should have known blackwell would have something like this to this ready <coughs> Apollo? I don't want to talk about it! 
Well, I'm too bad. Um, how exactly oh. did they determine that Clay was already gone in that footage? Uh, I see what you mean. Whether Clay was alive at, still alive at that point is pretty crucial. Bitch, Your Honor, please take another look at the footage. Isn't it possible that Mr. Terran would... Ta uh, why can't I not say that word? Terran. Mr. Terran was still alive here and that Mr. Starbuck was helping him? Why, I believe you're right. Terran. One man Terran. carrying the other to safety. What a beautiful expression of friendship. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I agree with the, the last thing that anyone said. <laughs> In real time. Silence. <laughs> Perhaps that's what it looks like to a one-eyed hothead in a dotard. Don't point out my condition right now. You are the one who wearing a blindfold. Shut up! He has a sty, let him live. <laughs> As I was saying, but it only makes sense if it's the victim's dead body. What do you mean? Fulbright, explain it to Justice Dono. You got it. Ready, kid? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> if the murder had occurred in the lounge, someone could have spotted it. Wow, okay, I see. Anyone can enter the lounge, after all. But doing it while they were alone in the spaceship? That's a horse of a different color. What? <laughs> <Objection>. Nay! <laughs> Objection! But you can't deny that there's a possibility the murder could have happened in the lounge. All that video shows is a man helping his fellow astronaut out. Silence. Silence. Your assertion is based on emotion. It's based on your belief that Mr. Starbuck would surely help his own disciple. You have no logical explanation as to why the victim could still be alive. But you also don't have a logical explanation as to why he's dead! Can we see a knife wound in that guy? No, we cannot. That's right. Fact. Unfortunately, Mr. Justice, the prosecution is right. Your argument it is lacking feels like sound so logic. Stupid. They are like lacking sound Blackwell. logic. Isn't he Blackwell? Huh? Isn't the prosecution Blackwell instead of right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the prosecutor of the next case is younger than Flavier. <laughs> oh, next game. Next case. Next game. Okay. okay. Next game. Huh? Okay. Because, <laughs> like, Simon's younger than Edgeworth. Yes. He's, like, only. Simon 20s. is younger. Uh, Edgeworth and Wright are in their, like, 30s. Mm -hmm. And Simon's in his late 20s. Mm hmm. How old is Nayuda? I thought he was He's only- one year younger, one year younger than Clavier. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I don't know why I went to the court the records that they would tell me anything. <laughs> that, is, that is also kind of breaking my brain a little bit, Sarah. <laughs> I thought he was like, I, I don't, this might just be, um, uh, my my ship brain like breaking things, but I assumed that he was the same age or like maybe a year or two younger than Simon. Ah, <laughs> uh, but, but it sounded perfectly logical to me. Well, Mr. Justice, if you have no further objections, I believe it's time to bring this cross examination to a close. Objections? Uh, well, I. Uh... <gasps> Dina! Hold it. Hold it. Ow. Bitch, Your Honor. The defense requests a little time to think and regroup. Hmm. Given the facts, I'm not sure I see the need. What is it, Athena? It's just... There's something that's been bothering me. <sighs> if it isn't the defense stalling for time, as always... <coughs> Very well. I'm feeling generous. May have a small measure of time. Excuse me, the judge hands those out, okay? Do you, do you, okay, for, for starters, does it look like his boldness would do that? Is in charge of anything? I don't know. 
That's the, he makes a fair point. Also, yes, and also, ow! I'm not sure if that caught if it caught on the it, microphone. It did not. <laughs> He's in charge of the lunch orders. Sykes, don't know for starters. You have to you have to hit it like this, so that way you don't hurt your wrist. And also, you have five seconds. What? Five seconds? That's hardly generous. After that, I declare this cross-examination to be closed and a verdict to be rendered. Your baldness! Raise your gavel high. It's time for a countdown. Oh. Uh, uh oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> uh, uh, yes! We don't have time. Spit it out, Athena. I feel like it took me five seconds to say yeah. that. <laughs> He is going for walk. He's supposed to go for walk. Yeah. <laughs> Mac. Oh, sorry. Only three more <laughs> seconds. So look, I don't think the prosecution explanation is very complete. Meaning? Meaning there's something missing. Like they conveniently left it unexplained. Like that number on his arm? I'm wondering about that. <laughs> Something they didn't explain. Something that I didn't explain. Definitely, it's been three seconds. Ah, you're right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's been way more than five seconds. Your five seconds are up, Mr. Justice. The judge was like trying to remember what you say, uh, what word you say when you're counting seconds, right? He was like, one. <laughs> Is it Missouri? <laughs> no, that's oh! not it. Hmm, Mi Miss. Cup of tea? That seems too long. Hmm. <laughs> One minute soda. No. No. It's not it. Not. It's, <laughs> it can't be Maryland, can it? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything about the prosecution's argument that you'd like to re rebut? Y yes, bitch, Your Honor. Actually, there is. There's something that the prosecution has yet to make clear to this court. Hmm. Well, if you put it that way, what is it that the prosecution has failed to explain? Oh, um, uh, well, they, they've explained their motive or what they think the motive is. So why was the body moved? They have failed to explain why Mr. Starbuck would bother bringing the body back at all. If the defendant wanted to kill the victim, why didn't he just leave his body in the rocket? Why go through the trouble of bringing him all the way to the boarding lounge? Oh, that's true. I don't think we've heard the prosecution's thoughts on that yet. That's because they have none, bitch, your honor. Head empty. <gasps> After all, how does one explain something so illogical? I love when Apollo gets really confident like this. It's so like, yeah. yes, king, go off, go for it, go for the jugular. I also Am I love it when he gets so confident like that. <laughs> what, <a> cloth? <laughs> Hi, Shotzi! Oh my god, I, I can't <laughs> focus on all this right now. The prosecution is claiming that the defendant moved the victim's dead body. But what if the entire premise of that argument is wrong? Also, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Then let's Yes, and thank you to Serapy. Oh, actually, never mind, I'm busy all night. I have to, uh, I, I have to wash my hair. You got a bit, Apollo. I have to wash on, my Paul. hair! <laughs> Did I say setup? I mean the dead. Oh. Well, you said it already, so... Uh, you said it already. No take backsies. <laughs> the defense We're proposes... The, therapy, God damn it. <laughs> the defense proposes that the defendant didn't kill the victim. He was helping him. What? Cool, bright. Explain it for our sad friend here before I nod off to his monotone monologue. You call that monotone? <laughs> would you prefer if I called it screeching? Maybe, that would be closer to the truth. Yeah, that, that is what it is, so. Inform him exactly why Space Boy moved the victim. Uh huh? You gotta be joking. It's simple. Mr. Starbuck did what he did to direct suspicion away from himself. And onto whom? <laughs> he wanted to create the impression he heroically risked his life to save his partner. 
That's why he made sure to make it to the security camera so there'd be a record. Um... At the very least, he appears to have achieved success with you and the old man. Uh. <coughs> carrying the other to safety. Oh, what a beautiful expression of friendship. The average person wearing a spacesuit weighs easily over 200 pounds. The life of a partner who weighs as much trying to escape deadly flames. What a dramatic sob story fit for the silver screen. Indeed. I was completely taken in by the humanity of the story. <laughs> Prepare to be you taken see? in once again when I prove that that's what happened. <laughs> you see, yet the true ending is that all traces of his hammy act were meant to be blown up. Yes, and now we arrive at the thrilling conclusion. The third explosion. <laughs> Excuse me. That's they were hiding. They were that hiding a third. This is updated autopsy report material. Autopsy report. One hundred percent. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? There was no third explosion. <laughs> Silence. I. It's worth God's his moment. I get mine. The average person carries their brother to safety is a statistical error. Heroism, George! <laughs> <laughs> Who saves over 800 brothers a day? <laughs> is this an, a statistical anomaly and should not have been counted? <laughs> Heroism, <Indeed>. George. <laughs> Indeed. You are correct. That is thanks to Detective Arm. It was she who identified and secured the bomb. However, it doesn't change the fact that the third bomb was discovered in the lounge. Gaslight gatekeep manipulate man's flame. <clears throat> man's laughter? So, uh, wait. Man's but... slaughter. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about man's laughter, and halfway be between saying man's laughter, I switched back to man's slaughter. <laughs> yes, uh, I embody all these attributes. Ah, uh, there were three explosions, Athena. <laughs> oh fuck. The steel coffin beside the witness stand. That would be bomb transport case. Use that to transport the deactivated bomb here. It was found in the lounge. A bomb in the form of a most distasteful toy. I love how they got like this huge case for it. Um, even though it's like the size of a plush. <laughs> you might need lots of padding for it or something. Yeah, I guess, to make sure like, it doesn't get fumbled Knocked. around. But like the inside yeah. is also um it's big enough to fit a human body in. So it's like Yeah, <laughs> so what they probably take out the padding oh. and put the body in. Mhm. Mm one on the second floor of the main building, one on the launch pad, one in the lounge. The defendant planned to set off three firework displays. Fortunately, the third was discovered before it could be detonated, or had it not. The victim's body and other vital evidence would surely have been immolated. Objection! Objection! <laughs> before you utter a word, know that the evidence supports me. I'm gonna make it support me now, bitch. <sighs> It's like he's reading my mind, like, from earlier. Yes. Fuck! And I'm, and I'm still not telling you why. As it is still go undergoing forensic ec- in Blah, blah, why did my mouth do that? Ugh. <clears throat> As it is still undergoing forensic investigation, I do not have the evidence at hand. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> It will be another auto updated autopsy report. You, uh, you only get one, Poe. 
Well, I get two. Thank you. <laughs> However, know that a pect peculiar item was found in one of Mr. Starbuck's pockets. <laughs> Specifically, a bomb detonation switch. Anyone could put that there. <laughs> you found what? Oh my god. <laughs> I suspect the defendant had no time to destroy such damning evidence. Oh boy. When the Space Center director and Detective Arm stumbled across the murder. Though so he thought to hide it in his pocket. People brains that he is. Uh, no! Mr. Starbuck would never do anything like that. <laughs> ah! Uh, wow, I can't believe oh, Apollo just fucking died. Apollo oh, just fucking died. <laughs> Justice Dano, open your eyes and see the truth. Hmm. One of my eyes has a sty, so fuck you. Well, this appears to be irrefutable evidence that the accused set off the explosions. <laughs> oh my god. No, there has to be some kind of mistake. This can't be the truth. Still can't it accept it? You'll be leaving your client, come what may? And why don't you cross-examine the defendant himself? Why the hell not? This has gotta be a trap. It's like Black Pearl's controlling the entire game. Well, we're gonna, like, get to the credits and find his name in the credits. <laughs> Not as, like, <laughs> an attribution, but, <laughs> like, directed by. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like he was waiting for me to bring up the body moving issue. you say that? Because he had just the right argument when I pointed it out. Oh, Sarah and Simon made the game together, of course. How could I forget? Resident <laughs> yeah, uh, game devs. Uh, Sarah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and to really rub it in, he had a decisive piece of, piece of evidence up his sleeve, too. He was trying to shake my faith in Mr. Starbuck and break me down. Cross examining Mr. Starbuck at this point was part of his plan, too. Totally underhanded, but I wouldn't expect anything less from him. <laughs> <laughs> now, let us hear from the arch-villain, the fiendish murderer himself. That's, uh, bold words for the type of man we're about to talk to. <laughs> Famed astronaut, Solomon Starbuck. He looks so sad. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Your name and occupation, please. Solomon Starbuck. Astronaut. <sighs> How did this happen? To me, I made my mistakes. Got lost in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> We've sent Rand oh, to no, our we lost Rand. <laughs> Yeah, Rand took off. <laughs> Mr. Starbuck, you weren't looking very well. Will you be able to give testimony? <sighs> no. <laughs> Me too, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> well, well, unfortunately, no is not an option. <laughs> You're being you are being accused. <laughs> Good yeah. yeah. You are being accused of the Space Center bombing and the murder of Clay Taran. Taran. <laughs> Taran! No, Taran. Judge, Taren. don't it's listen like... to me, it's Taran! <laughs> like Taran. Like Taran. Like <laughs> Please testify to these allegations. I just thought it would be funny if I switched to the one you were doing. I know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no, I think that would be really funny if it was an ongoing. <laughs> <sighs> um, mind if I take this suit off? It's getting really heavy. Silence. 
Silence! It's not the weight of the suit that you feel, but of your sins. Oh my god, that's bullshit, Simon! <laughs> <laughs> you know that's bullshit, yet you're still sw saying it. God. Prepare to carry that weight for the rest of your life. Chains are heavy. <laughs> Wait, no, no, it really is Tehran, and Apollo's desperately trying to correct everything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Clay, <laughs> no, here, here it is. Clay told Apollo his last name once, and Apollo misheard it and was too afraid for the rest of their friendship to ask oh out for now, and is now under the delusion that it's Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else is saying it correctly except for Apollo. <laughs> like, dude, aren't you like his best friend? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Banish me to the moon. I don't care anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That was super negative. Is he going to be all right up there? <laughs> no. Do I, need to, like, do I need to like do a quick therapy session or something? I, 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 actually, he'll be, he'll be fine. Uh, I, I think. He loves the vacuum of space, right? As long as he doesn't totally give up and say he did it, that is. Clay just really hates his last name. Uh, and really likes StarCraft. Fair. Oh my god, he all was so I intense. Did was, all I did was support Clay over my shoulder and get us out of the rocket. Like always, I took the elevator down to the middle level and headed for the corridor. Clay had passed <laughs> out by the time we got the order to evacuate. I didn't kill Clay. I was trying to save him. Wait, he passed out? Hmm. So you assert that you didn't set off the bombs or murder the victim? <laughs> but I bet you think I'm lying, right? I reserve <coughs> the judgment until after I've heard your full testimony. Uh, false, but <laughs> go off, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sure you don't believe me. I bet you don't even believe I'm an astronaut. Oh, I don't think the judge stops that. I don't have a suit like that except an astronaut. Hmm. Cosplayer? I will say that when I saw you in that movie... 200 pounds? You appeared quite courageous. Though I suppose reality never quite lives up to fantasy. Oh, damn! Whoa. That's so mean. Wow. Uh, <sighs> they say they say never meet your uh, heroes, but also never meet your fans. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess I'm just a big disappointment. <laughs> oh, this is depressing. <laughs> yeah. I, I really don't care what happens anymore. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, he's completely given up. What? Why, why is it in question marks? It's clearly him, right? <sighs> it was him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just echoed. What a depressing fellow. If you were to join me in the clink. I imagine that annoying sign of yours would rub off on the other inmates. My <laughs> camera rubbed off on Prosecutor Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> it was the so reveal! <laughs> the, <laughs> the reveal! <laughs> <laughs> they really. Okay. <laughs> that was they good. got me. That, that was, was good. So good. That was kind of good. Oh my god. Huh? That was Blackwell sign? <laughs> This is so good. What the fuck? Mr. Starbucks' testimony contains a glaring contradiction. The question is, what does it mean? Even if Mr. Starbuck is my client, I can't be gun shy now. It's time to find out the truth by shooting him. Uh, well, this gun we keep under the <laughs> defense. Fucking bench. finally, I've been waiting all this time for us to fucking use it. I I put I my think, finger on the trigger. This is the one time, who, Apollo. Maya's the one who put it there. 
Yeah, Maya put it there yeah, years ago. With a note that said gun that's been here. Crime. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, no, nobody has been had the balls to remove it. Like there are other defense attorneys in this world. No one, no one was like, oh, I can't touch this. No one messes with Maya fucking Faye. Okay. Listen, yeah. <laughs> she legally had her middle name changed to fucking. It was. Great. <laughs> Uh, okay, so is the is the contradiction that he took the elevator, but um, they were talking about there was like a power outage, right? Do we have something that says something about a power outage? Probably. Oh, the um, the 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 the, 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 the. yeah, emergency police officer, power. Yeah, oh, I continue police. to work. Why is the P in police capitalized here? <laughs> <laughs> right, police! <laughs> uh, gave evacuation instructions immediately. There was a power outage and the affected areas remained dark. The security switch system switched over to emergency power and continued to work. Evacuees moved to the basement shelter. Sorry, Ren, what was that you said? Oh, no, no, that was it. Oh, okay. Just the... Yeah. Um... Or, but I'm not sure I even got what you had originally said. Oh, uh, it was something to do with that letter thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we've got that. I um... wasn't really saying words, so. I get. I guess the other thing that's curious is that Clay, uh, Clay had passed out by the time we got the order to evacuate, because it says that they gave the order to evacuate immediately, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, the security system moved over. Okay, nothing else moved over, though. So it would be valid to say, like, Hey, uh, how did you use the elevator if the uh, power was out? I'm gonna try that. Objection! Oh, I don't think that was it. <laughs> ah, that was not it! That statement clearly contradicts the evidence. I object to you on personal grounds. What? <laughs> Sole contradiction lies in what your faulty logic dreamt up just now. Ah. Objection overruled. The defense will think twice before making such erroneous statements. It seems that statement didn't particularly conflict with the evidence. Never mind, okay. Then maybe it is this? Oh god, the emulators. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably that, yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the bombing report. Wait. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't mean to click that, I meant to check it! Wait, are they saying something different? <laughs> I think Apollo said the uh, this this uh, evidence is completely at odds with the witness's testimony. Who, who, who me? <laughs> what do you make of this objection of his? Oh, I don't know if I should um. Well. I have no patience for vagaries. Now, answer my question. Yes, sir. The defense's objection was clearly misguided. Amazing. Bravo. Nicely done. <laughs> it seems our misguided attorney has earned himself a penalty. Uh, <laughs> I better look before I leap next time and watch where I'm fucking clicking. Careful. Okay. I want to look. Explain, expl <laughs> okay. Oh, there. That's why there is no like examine further. The explosion sparked a fire on the second floor of the main building. Oh, near the elevator. One of the bombs went off mm. near the elevator. How did you fucking take it? Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, stop right there. What does this mean? Mr. Starbuck, I need your testimony to be as accurate as possible. W w was I not being accurate? I love this face of his. Wait. Oh? 
<laughs> what if Apollo's pronunciation of Terran started as a mistake reading it for the first time and it became an inside joke? Even after all this time, he can't let it go. That'd be that's, that's sad. That's like a cute sad. Like he's like, uh-huh. hey, what's up, Terran? <laughs> and Clay's always like, it's Terran. And then they're like, buddies. No, because it's impossible for you to have taken the elevator down to the middle level. What makes you say that, Mr. Justice? Please recall where the bomb went off in Launchpad 1. Also recall that after the explosion, <laughs> the middle level elevator was engulfed in flames. Oh, you're right. <coughs> Which means... Exactly. The launch pad's elevator would have been unusable. In other words... Mr. Starbuck, your statement is decidedly inconsistent with the facts. <laughs> he goes. He's hiding. What's with the helmet? Uh, 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 mission command. Mission command, do you read me? Come in, please. Objection! Objection! This is mission command. I order you to pay attention! Stop this nonsense and answer my questions, Mr. Starbuck. Ag, my helmet! <laughs> my oxygen tank! <laughs> oxygen concentration and body temperature declined. Requesting medical assistance. Good! <laughs> can't believe what if somebody else... Died. I can't believe he just what fucking is... died in the vacuum of space. What if the thing the is that it's somebody else who was in his outfit, was taking his place because he was afraid, and so he was never even there. Oh. 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 But, Mr. Starbuck, we are not in space right now. <laughs> Please stop pretending you have lost consciousness and stand back up. What happens to Mr. Starbuck during a cowboy minute? Only time will tell. That's a good fucking question. <laughs> He, he turns British. British. <laughs> British. Hey! Hey! What's all this then? <laughs> I apologize, Your Honor. Bitch, Your Honor. I forgot I was still on Earth. <laughs> I guess it's fucking time to find out. We fucked around and found out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, can, 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 I, w I was just about to say too that uh, I love that they 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 gave Starbuck the the quality of most people uh, most astronauts. Uh, I always think I think about all the time that interview with an astronaut who had just gotten back from the space <laughs> station, the International oh, Space Station, who was talking oh. about who even cares what he was talking about, but he's holding a pencil um, and trying to trying to explain something visually with his hands and the pencil as uh, to to the interviewer. <laughs> he, he's like, OK, now if you imagine this. He he holds the pencil up, immediately lets go, and starts like talking about something over here. A whole two seconds pass, and he's like, <laughs> before he realizes that it dropped and it did not hang in the air. He later does the same thing with a water bottle. <laughs> Fuck, Honestly, so I understand good. them. I understand them because when I try and draw traditionally, I start to zoom in. Yeah. Or try to, or try to undo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love that so day. much. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, you're so right, Deej. He, he hears it drop. Uh, he looks up at first. <laughs> it takes him like three seconds to process it's not in the air. Like, and then he go? looks down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I must be hard and readjusted to to gravity again. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, also, just a side note. I I, mm -hmm. I do think I, I think it's uh it's fucking wild that uh all the shit that they have to do to stay healthy up there, right? Because they don't have gravity, so their muscles don't have to do any work. 
uh, and they start to atrophy real bad. So they have to do all this weird, like, uh, exercise and shit to make sure that when they get back to Earth, they aren't, like, <laughs> unable to, to like, walk anymore and shit. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely uh, crazy to think about. Like, you don't think about the fact that gravity uh, gives you some amount of mus- musculature uh, to begin with because you need to be able to, like, hold yourself upright and, and like, do stuff, right? Um, and it, does, it just doesn't exist up there. It's fucky. Anywho. I feel like we all just got a glimpse of, uh, a real glimpse of Solomon Sturbuck, the astronaut. He's a lot less composed than I thought he'd be. And he seemed more and likely an, he seemed more like an astronaut now than when he was doing all that sighing. Uh, Mr. Starbuck, could you please explain the inconsistency in your statement about how you use the middle level elevator? I uh, was nervous. <laughs> Did zero thing. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh God, he ain't French. Oh, it's worse than that. Oh, no. He's French. He's fucking French. Oh shit. I actually shit. Uh, took a different route. I think. <laughs> a different route. <laughs> shit. No. It's no, I, I refuse. I refuse. My Britishness refuses to do that. I hope you're able to deliver a straight story this time. Ugh. I'll get that right this time. Maybe. No. <laughs> I, I mean, probably. <laughs> he feel probably. like he feel like Spanish Buzz, but it's <laughs> French Starbuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I said this. It's understandable to be nervous, but let me remind you, accuracy is paramount in court. Oh shit, here we go again. My escape route. Merci. Oh, my escape route. <laughs> what I said before was a mi mis mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying to remember what the fuck a French accent. Is. Yeah, <laughs> you're doing yeah. great, partner. You're doing well. You're doing well. I don't remember now. I took a different route. Maybe, probably. With the capsule and clay in my arms, I made my way down to the upper level. So, what you're saying? Is you escaped without using the elevator? Is that right? There's a ladder that spans the upper and middle levels. I use that ladder to get to the middle level. While carrying a man who weighs over 200 pounds in a spacesuit? I am strong. Mm -hmm. Luckily, <laughs> the fire hadn't reached the ladder, so we could make our escape that way. And the capsule that you mentioned. I suppose you mean that thing next to Mr. Terran here? I got it that term, yes. Uh, was the capsule that important that you'd risk your life to take it with you? It almost goes without saying, but... Yeah! <laughs> that capsule contains asteroid samples. Oui. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It's... Oui. <laughs> oui. We no, is he, like yes and we he's trying to say yeah but we is like yeah but it comes out a bit strange <laughs> strange therefore <laughs> 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 it's invaluable as research material with a space suit on clay with at home but securing the capsule was also important <coughs> I need you to answer to the best of your ability. Mr. Starbuck, please remember that your verdict is riding on your testimony. <laughs> Maybe I am guilty after all. I wonder if you can see the stars in prison. But it's more comfortable than a spaceship. <laughs> I do declare it is not. It's 
not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, here's the fucking thing. You could not climb a ladder with a capsule and a man. Is my thing. I don't know how just I'm supposed to man. prove that other than that's just common fucking sense. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. What? But look at the bomb. What's on there? The ladder? Yeah. Is this how we oh, show it, or is it the it's space next to the ladder. Oh. What is? The bomb. So he wouldn't have been able to use the ladder anyway. Yeah. Well, no, he, well he's saying that the, the elevator was engulfed in flames, but he's saying that the ladder weren't. Mm. Is is my thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess I guess let's No, I I let yeah. let's let's just present this and be like, look, there's a fucking yeah. ladder there. You can't yeah, yeah. you need at least one hand to climb the ladder. You said both your hands were occupied, and clearly Objection. you can Oh, we got it in one, lads. <laughs> Yee fucking ha! <laughs> Mr. Starbuck, why don't you just tell the truth? The whole yes. truth and nothing but the truth. Like you testified that you would? Like you swore an oath that you would? On the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Bible? <laughs> you, you know the Bible. The Bible <laughs> to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On the God bubble, please do on swear the on the bubble. On the bubble, <laughs> the bubble, if you, if you bubble. will. The bubble. <laughs> bubble. <laughs> oh, let's see. The earth is blue. Uh, no, no. That's not right. So, uh, I guess the Earth isn't blue? Yeah. That's it. No, you had it right the first time. The truth, Mr. Starbuck. Go. The oxygen <laughs> co concentration is super low on this area. That was an incredible noise you just made, sir. <laughs> I didn't even know. I, I could that. make it. <laughs> Incroyable! The emergency of the context. I feel like we need a French minute now. Like, shit! <laughs> Please don't, I beg of you. I keep, of buzz. I keep thinking of Spanish buzz and this being just French Starbucks. Like, it's all in my head. <laughs> Pretzels is the same. It is also, it is, it is hard enough when, when Athena uh, says. Just <laughs> random, random buzzwords in different languages for me. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> if I an opportunity oh, to work on... Subject me to a French minute. <laughs> if I an opportunity to work on your accent. Why, why would I want to expensive. sound like the French? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I to make want. fun of them, obviously. Really to make Guys, fun of them. My name is French. I don't want to speak French. <laughs> as, if you have any, if you have any love of me for as your, <laughs> your little sibling, you you will not subject me to that. <laughs> the witness appears confused. Please help draw out the truth from him. Sayer, you cannot just post cast members' last names in the chat like that. It's very <laughs> rude of you to dox Rand like that. <laughs> delete it, Sarah. Just delete it. <laughs> Mods, oh, can we get can we get Sarah banned? <laughs> you have been banned and blocked and, and reported. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you so much for the cowboy minute, Sarah. <laughs> A five minute cowboy. 
<laughs> up, that, listen, it was it was too good. I had to cut it off somewhere. <laughs> no, um, I love it. I love the fact that we never, you know, limit ourselves. <laughs> It's, it's, that's that's the thing. It's a spiritual minute. When the possession yeah. ends, the possession ends. Um, that's uh, what the priest says. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Starbuck, under the circumstances at the time, you couldn't have possibly have reached the boarding lounge via the upper level route. Huh? Not as long as this was <laughs> along the escape route. In a uh, clear love cat, um, she always has the sound effect in her videos that goes like, eh? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's a very, very common Korean sound effect. Like if you watch a Korean variety TV oh. show, that's always there for any kind of confusion. That's that's the. Uh. <laughs> it always makes me and Alan laugh. <laughs> To get down from the upper to the middle level where the launch pad one corridor is, you would have to go down the ladder. Isn't that right, Mr. Starbuck? Uh, uh, of course. That was the only way we could escape. Nani. Nani the fuck? <laughs> Nani. <laughs> but how would that... Oh my god. How would that work? At how to climb? You... How to climb? Uh, <laughs> at the time, you were supporting Mr. Terran over your shoulder, were you not? And remember, he was in full space gear as well, putting him at over 200 pounds. <laughs> well, it's easy on the moon. Gravity's only one-sixth of what it is on Earth. Blech. Okay, I'm calling it right fucking now. I already said it, but I'm calling it right now. He's not a real astronaut. He's simply an actor. And the person wow. who actually goes up is the one who does the, is like the actual astronaut. He's just the face. <laughs> wow. That right. is some, that is, that is something that Ace Attorney. That is a yeah, very Ace Attorney I, plot. I, I believe it. Ren is right. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> but the space center is located on Earth. Short of being an octopus, climbing a ladder with an adult male in space gear in one arm, and even then you would have to be a huge octopus, what does not exist on this planet, as far as we know. While carrying the capsule in your other arm is possible impossible, wouldn't you say? Oh, oh. So, Mr. Starbuck, how exactly did you climb down that ladder with your arms full? Uh... He's like, actually, I threw Clay down there, and that was unfortunately how he <laughs> lost his life! <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, I just, I, as I was saying that, I was like, this is grim. <laughs> this is so grim. <laughs> Mr. Starbuck, come clean and tell us the truth. Now. Egg. Engineer! Where's that engineer? Oxygen leak detected due to faulty fault <laughs> maintenance. Oh! What the? Oh. He's flying the coop! <laughs> Evacuate <laughs> immediately! Egg! Help! I'm caught on the ceiling. Oh, he help? Eh, no, really. Please? Oh my god. Bailiff, prepare the cherry picker. We <laughs> must launch our rescue mission at once. <laughs> right oh on god. it. Right on it, Judge. Uh, right, right That's on one it, way to take off after being right quick. on it, Judge. <laughs> right on it. Uh, I'd rather prove his innocence so he can go to space again someday for real. I don't think he'd pass the psyche though. Yeah, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> now then, Mr. Starbuck, do you think you can keep your feet planted on the ground? Yes. I apologize for losing control. Are you ready to tell us the truth? <laughs> He's gonna do it again! <laughs> Not that. It, anything but that. What is going on? This isn't the Mr. Starbuck I know. Oh. It appears Space Boy is prone to deception. Witness! Y yaks! Y yes I thought your story odd, but perhaps the inconsistencies can be explained as... 
The result of a medical side effect. No? Oh. Did you have a concussion? Egg! Prosecutor Blackwheel! Please, please don't talk about that. What are you talking about, Prosecutor Blackwell? Does this have to do with his anxiety meds? <sighs> Didn't I already state that Space Boy is, ironically, terrified of going into space? That's why he took some precautions just before the launch. For you see, traces of this anti-anxiety drug were found in his system. Oh? I sense things are about to nosedive. <coughs> you, you got it all wrong. I told him during the investigation, too. I don't know anything about any drugs. I never took any medication, I swear. It was found in his system, but he doesn't remember taking it? How could uh -oh. that be? Somebody must have slipped them to me. B but I, gu I guess maybe that's why I don't remember. Because, because of the side effects. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't remember much about what, what really happened. What? So somebody drugged him with his anxiety meds. Mm -hmm. Order, order in the court. We can't well, there goes any... my theory. Yeah. <laughs> we can't get any useful testimony out of him if he doesn't remember anything. Well, this certainly explains why his testimony kept changing. Uh, why didn't he just tell me he couldn't remember? I guess he didn't want anybody to find out he was terrified of going into space. They said it on record a minute ago, <laughs> so... Okay. A little late. Maybe I really did do it. Which brings us to the answer of our original question. Of how the witness climbed down the ladder with a dead body. It does? Um, so what is it? A dead man feels no pain and makes no complaints, Justice Stone. No! Oh, I mean, I see. Drops, but. What do you mean he drops him? There would have been some damage to him. Yeah, body. especially like half the height of a space rocket that would have shown up on the autopsy report. They would be like, yeah, that's, okay, that's not a clearly good description. this the death, the cause of death was stabbing, but we can see from like the physical signs on the body that it was dropped like three stories or whatever. Probably more like six stories or something. Yeah, like, a body doesn't look good after six stories. Yes, yeah, that was even a plot point last time, right? They were like, oh, well, uh, we, it wasn't, the body wasn't dropped out the window because that yeah. didn't show up on the autopsy. He wiped the damage off on his pants. Oh, that, you know, <laughs> why didn't I think of that, Deej? <laughs> You're so right. God damn it. He, he did follow that. the one rule of wipe hands on pants, so... So, the body was simply dropped down from the top of the left. Yeah, that doesn't make sense! It doesn't make sense! Oh my! I see. And then the defendant could climb down with his free hand. Objection! Objection! Drop the body down? Uh, Apollo, this is not the objection you should be making, but who would do such a disrespectable thing? Besides, oh, here, okay. <laughs> I should, I should not, I should have uh, had faith in him. Besides, dropping the body down would leave marks on the body itself. So you are, ca so you are capable of quick thinking. Yes, you are correct. Really? Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, well, uh... huh? What's that? It's the oxygen tank from the victim's spacesuit. It's ruptured, and I'm sure you can figure out why. You can't be implying it ruptured when the defendant dropped the victim's body. I am, for they fracture easily when struck. Objection! Objection! <laughs> right, a body, you mean? Even if that's true, the tank's explosion and shrapnel would leave its mark on the body. Yet, according to the autopsy report, only the knife wound was found on the victim's body. 
You're clearly grasping at straws with this line of reasoning. Silence. Silence. Spacesuit isn't heavy for the sake of being heavy, Justice Dono. It includes the latest technological devices and is made of the fabric of tomorrow. This is a non-answer. I don't think even the most up-to-date spacesuits could avoiding. save you from, uh, like, showing damage of falling, like, six stories. Yeah, this is dumb. Out of the fabric of tomorrow, is it like a new type of like technology? Like, if or it was the fabric brand? of tomorrow, how the hell did the knife get into his chest? Right? <laughs> like, God. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I was just so infuriated by the build up on this. Like, no. Yeah. No. And Apollo's so out of it that he can't, like, actually yeah. discuss it. Ugh. This fabric is made to protect astronauts from the dangers of space. The falling a few Earth yards would hardly leave a mark on the wearer. A few yeah, I, Again, I think a space shuttle is way taller than they think it yeah. is. <laughs> Those things are like skyscraper tall. Then shouldn't it be impossible to stab someone through it as well? Oh my god, Apollo's making these points. Finally. It should. And yet, through sheer coincidence. Not the space knives! What? <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid! That's so stupid! <laughs> You're I've... pulling this out of your I... ass right in front of us. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I'm not going to even say it. Yeah, I have to say it, okay? Knife slipped through a weak spot in the suit structure and found its way to its target. Sarah and Deej are both like, oh, oh I hate this part. Oh, what are the chances? You forget that our killer is an astronaut oh himself God. with knowledge of how the suits work. Nope. God. Uh, he's got me uh. there. No, he doesn't. <laughs> All right, Apollo's just like too defeated to fight back. Yes, Sarah Deej, I'm glad that I'm with you on this. I'm just so mad. Now my argument has been proven. Fuck you. Space Boy killed the victim in the rocket and then dropped his body from the upper level. After climbing down, he shouldered the body and made sure the camera recorded him. There's no room for debate about these facts. It's clear that Solomon Starbuck is the only one who could have killed Clay Terran. Ah! Here, a report regarding the astronauts' oxygen takes. Consider it my send-off gift. Feel free to use it as payment to cross the river Styx. <laughs> Am I dying after this? Excuse me? <laughs> Yes, there's a game over. Oh. Wait. The victim's tank was ruptured with 0% left. The defendants had 80%. Remaining oxygen is displayed on the left shoulder. Okay, so what was that 50% that we saw? Huh? Uh, what was that about, huh? It wasn't him. Or it, it wasn't the picture. It wasn't taken at the time that we think it was taken at. Yeah. Hey, this report is pretty detailed. I like how Salmon gave us his uh, <laughs> his fare for the river sticks, because we're about to bury him with this. <laughs> Let's see. The display on the astronaut's left shoulder shows how much oxygen remains. I guess that means these glowing cyan digits represent the amount of oxygen remaining. Uh, max BRB, so... Oh, okay. I'm Ren, him. go for it! <laughs> I'm done for. <laughs> I'm going to prison instead of space. <laughs> Excellent job, Ren. Beautiful. Space boy. Y yes. <laughs> Take heart. The jeweled night sky is still beautiful, even when viewed through bars. You are terrible at the pep talk. <laughs> yeah. You mean the stars as seen from prison? 
That's right. Your cell will be your spaceship. Picture the view through the iron bars. It's like being an astronaut in your own craft all time. <laughs> That's not a half bad thought. Um, Mr. Starbuck? Prosecutor Blackwell got to him good. <laughs> hey. He's ready. Spaceship prison cell, fly me, my guilt, and my despair into the deepest, darkest space. Oh no. <laughs> and then, let's get sucked into a black hole together. You know what I found the other day was, uh... Uh, some people, uh, apparently they've gotten sound from inside of a galaxy, uh, recently and used it to recreate no. what a black hole sounds like, and- I refuse oh, to Oh, boy! <laughs> I refuse to listen to that. I don't need I to I think know everyone that. should. I- oh my god, I, it was so creepy. <laughs> I don't need to know that. I don't need to. I- I do now. I have I've, I've... Ex existential dread for myself, thank you. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Mr. Starbuck, you can't give up hope. Already have. Oh, yes, Apollo? You know, Clay really looked up to you. You said he was you... short. Yeah. <laughs> He said, but he also said you're an incredible man. He said you never give up your dreams and passion for space, no matter the situation. He said that? So don't give up now and help me prove your innocence. For the sake of the man who respected you and believed in you, Clay Terran. Clay. You're wasting your breath. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What? <laughs> did we snap him out of it? I think he did. Apollo, thank you. I can see things clearly now. The rain is gone? Mr. Starbuck. Yes. <laughs> I'm... I'm fine now. Thanks for reminding me of my life's mission. Fly me to the moon <laughs> and let me kick <laughs> its fucking it's ass. ass. Let me show let me it show what I what learned I in my in moon my jitsu, jitsu class. class. Wow, this blew up. I wish the moon would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, now I'm just thinking about for people who don't I'm just thinking about Dungeon World now. No <laughs> <laughs> the game I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn you all into astronauts by the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, to go beat up the moon. Got it. Moon's haunted cox gun. <laughs> moon's haunted. That's literally the premise of our Dungeon World game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Mr. Starbuck, I am more haunted by my guilt than the moon will ever be, so I'm going to win. Yes. In this psychological, <laughs> in this psychological horror. In the ghost war. <laughs> the ghost war. That's something that you can win, absolutely. Uh, yeah, something that is real and achievable to win. Uh, right. We'll both be fine. I'll prove you're innocent. You'll see. And after that, we'll get you back into space. Just gonna fucking eat me? <laughs> You've ignited the booster rockets of my soul! I'm on fire! 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 Rock astronaut! A cosmic hero chosen by the universe itself! Uh, maybe too This much. is no time to be whimpering and crying. I can't let you and Clay down. Hold a dash. No, I said space. The sun, the moon, all of space is calling to me. Solomon Soul Starbuck. I'm going to fly into the sun like Icarus. Ready for lunch. <laughs> Begin the countdown. Five. Four. Three. 
Two. One. One. I am going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is he doing? Wait, what? The... He's having a psychotic break. <laughs> My head is now in the ceiling. Please get me down. Well, I feel like I've witnessed an actual rocket launch. You did. I'm up here. Please help. Oh, Jerry, get the cherry picker again. On it, Judge. Apollo, you did it. He broke prosecu Prosecutor Blackwell's grip over Mr. Starbuck. Also, my anxiety's grip. <laughs> I can't take the credit. It was all Mr. Starbuck. He pulled himself through. If you simpletons are done massaging one another's egos... I mean, if you were such a bitch, we would massage yours, too. Whoa, there. I don't need massaging. Are you sure? You've been in prison for, like, seven years, right? <laughs> there you are. I'm pretty sure Fulbright does it for him. Oh, okay. Now, uh, Do you listen. Not Make we can call. Like that? We can I don't call need Fulbright, to make assumptions. I guess, I'm Jerry, I work a shift there. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, put, Jerry pulled the short straw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no matter how positive your mood, my advantage remains unshakable. Yeah, we'll see. Wow, we'll see looks like someone I'll, doesn't want to help themselves nice. through therapy. Yeah. Shut up. No. Gun through seven years so far, I can get through more. I have but to wait for the final guilty verdict. Isn't that right, a boldness? Ah, uh, I can't let up now. I have to stop Blackwell. I have to see this through. Mr. Stardwick just has to make it back in his face. Oh. <laughs> I won't allow Clay's dream to remain unfulfilled. Oh, see, this confirms that Clay is really short because Apollo's standing there with his arm around his shoulder and he's only a like inch or two shorter than him. God, we yeah, love but two it does short look like kings. two short it kings. I imagine though that even though Clay's a short king, he is a little bit taller because well, Apollo yeah. was reaching up. He looks like he's on his tippy toes. No, yeah, but but they're, but they're like relatively close in height, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're too Apollo short standing on a box. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Listen, Boxes I want. I want. Are really popular <laughs> this time of year. I won't stand for this. <laughs> this bo uh, This is Boxgate, and I'm shutting it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't allow Clay's dream to remain unfulfilled. Gotta describe, destroy Blackwell's argument somehow. Think, Justice, think! Destroy it. D I gotta destroy it! If the only people at Launchpad 1 were Clay and Mr. Starbuck, and if Clay was already dead by the time this footage was taken, then the only person who could have killed him is Mr. Starbuck. So the only way to counter Blackwell's argument is if I can prove that Clay was still alive when they arrived at the boarding lounge. In which case, I should be able to find some contradiction in the evidence itself. Now, let's see. About this data we just received. This supposedly proves that Mr. Starbuck dropped Clay's body in Launchpad 1. But if I'm going to prove that false, then there must be something I can use here. Oh, oh, I think I see where we're going. Mm -hmm, we're yeah. gonna be like, no, it, it was actually Clay who carried Solomon. To the yeah. lounge because yeah. uh because solomon like we we don't know what reading um or how much oxygen was left in clay's tank but we do know how much was in in solomon's and solomon's was at 80 not 50 so yeah and i think it also makes sense why his um glove was off too because he had to let them like to get in yeah, he had to take off his glove. Yeah. And Jesus, it wait, wait sense okay, for excuse soul. me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sarah makes a valid point. Uh, Jesus carried them both. There was only one set of footprints. <laughs> oh my god. But Jesus yeah, like it wouldn't have both. made sense because Sol would have taken off his own glove to open up the door. So Yeah. And th and that would explain why he doesn't remember anything. He was unconscious yeah. during the whole thing. So he's like scramble he's like oh, I guess I was there and he's like creating false memories, but G <laughs> DJ of course G 
Jesus can lift. He he's lifting all the sins of the human race all the goddamn time. <laughs> okay, Come on. And and guys, was... I, I think we're getting close. I want to finish. I know. I um, <laughs> go for it. Okay. Enough of this fuss. Your baldness. Let's have your verdict. Objection! Objection! Prosecutor Blackwell, you seem to be in quite a hurry to rush the verdict. But about this oxygen tank data you just submitted now, and that you really didn't have to, but you did anyway because you got a little cocky, honestly. Um, <laughs> it says that Mr. Starbucks tank had 80% remaining while Mr. Terran's had zero. Do you stand by the accuracy of this report? Of course. Hmm. Then I guess simply, I guess it simply means that it's faulty as evidence goes. You will explain what you mean, Justice Dono. It's simple. This evidence contradicts the facts of this case. <coughs> Take a look here. Here at the detailed description, and you'll see what I mean. Oh, there. right. Oh, no, this. Oh, yeah. oh, go for it. <laughs> I hope you have some evidence, Mr. Justice, because I don't see what's so contradictory. I see fucking nothing. Uh, yes, bitch, Your Honor, right away. Hi, this Jerry. Jerry! Carmen had a friend Hi. over the other day, and they were reading Glassdoor reviews while I played a Shogun Farewell on iTunes, and it was a wonderful, dramatic reading. <laughs> I don't think I know that track. <laughs> um, where's the picture? Where's the fucking... Did we not have the picture? What the hell? Where... What you oh wait 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 sorry it was the security cam video oh yeah okay security cam. Uh, I was like what what the fuck where is it I know we have it <laughs> and how does this evidence present a contradiction the problem is this part right here oh my god make me point note the remaining oxygen in Mr Starbucks tank as he carries Mr Terran hmm. It appears to say... 5 50, yes, but according to That's the data... What said. Uh, sure it is. Our client's tank had 80% <laughs> remaining. The oxygen in the tank increase? I see Bitch Your Honor finds it as strange as I do. It's no, bad I enough... No, I just can't math. Oh. It's bad enough that there's a contradiction, but the increase in oxygen is beyond illogical. Oh my. You're absolutely right. I am. What is going on here? Silence. Tom Foolery. Silence. Hm. I too find it odd that the oxygen remaining has increased. It'd be as odd as if my rations were to increase. <laughs> <laughs> what does sometimes, that do? Sometimes Blackwell like really drives it home that he's been in prison, and I'm like, man, that sucks, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it just it just really sucks. Yeah, he's like, oh, uh, this is awkward now. It doesn't change the fact that it is the defendant carrying the victim's corpse. Objection. Objection. <laughs> I'm going to bet you don't get more rations because you don't abide by the rules. Wow! <laughs> Either way, the oxygen remaining shouldn't increase, just as your rations don't increase. Therefore, this new information is critical. We can't overlook it. Silence. Silence! In that case, do you have an answer to this riddle of the mysteriously increasing oxygen? You better not disappoint, or I'll declare the inconsistency as mere equipment malfunction. I think, in real life, you would need to call an expert witness in to declare that it could be, uh, equipment malfunction, but this I will is prove it. This caught! <laughs> so true, bestie. Mm. Prosecutor Blackwell has a point. This is piss caught. I suppose it could be a simple malfunction. 
Mr. Justice, if you cannot provide an adequate counter-argument to this point... I'm afraid I must bring this trial to an end, and I don't want that because this is my Saturday, my Saturday drama. <laughs> so, do you think you can explain why the remaining oxygen level increased? Uh, of course I can. Good, bring the plot points coming. The thing to do at a time like this is turn my <laughs> thinking around. Mr. Starbuck has no memory of it, but he claims to have carried clay. So this man with a 50 on his tank ought to be Mr. Star... See, that's the thing. I, I why do we why does it have to be Mr. Starbuck? We don't know who it is. But if anything, the display in his oxygen tank should have shown an 80. This is a clear contradiction between the report and the security footage. So what I should be asking is not why did the oxygen level increase? But what had to have happened to make it look like it increased? Am I making some kind of mistake in my base assumptions here? Yeah, yeah. you're assuming that it's <laughs> you're assuming that it's Solomon. And we've been saying this for a while now. It was Clay. Why, well, Mr. Justice? So I'm having my my snacks. We're waiting. <laughs> oh. Well, you're not gonna share. No. You didn't bring These it up for the rest of the my, court. These are my TV snacks, and I'm watching my drama. Oh my god. Taka. The actors go on the, the TV snacks. screen are not meant to ask for food. Taka, go get the snacks. <laughs> okay. Fuck off, bird! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to swear at you. No, no! I snacks! Oh, come back! Oh. Uh, I'm starve up here. Uh, Taka. You rendered an old man to the death of, a, of starvation. You're so okay, right, Jerry. Right. Everyone here does deserve an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Bitch, your honor, I'm ready to answer whenever you're done screaming about snacks. This is why the remaining oxygen appears to have increased. The victim was carrying the defendant. There we go. Yep. Yeah. What if it was the other way around? The other way around? Would you care to explain, Mr. Justice? As you can see, bitch, your honor, both men had their helmets on in this footage. But it turns out this is where our base assumptions went astray. We assumed that it was Mr. Starbuck helping Mr. Terran, but it was the other way around. It wasn't Mr. Starbuck helping Mr. Terran at all. It was Mr. Terran who was helping Mr. Starbuck to the boarding lounge. It was what? What a plot twist! Order! Order! Mr. Justice! I love this pursuit theme with its little, like, trumpet. Oh, yes, it's the so OST in this drama is very good. You oh mean to God. tell me that the person on the right of this image is the victim, Clay Terran? Hello. Welcome back, Hello. Matt! Hello. Welcome back! We found- Thank we you. found- we made a breakthrough. It wasn't, uh, Solomon carrying Terran, it was Terran carrying Solomon! And that's why there's a discrepancy in the- the report on the oxygen tanks and the security footage. I see. Thank you, Ren. Uh... Problem? No problem. <laughs> I had fun. We had a lot of fun. But we were uh, glad you were back. It was a lot back. of fun. But we're so happy. Yeah, so happy. Oh, I'm, I'm so well, glad you're back. More fun. <laughs> Your judge is always the best. Like, it doesn't sound right if it's not you. Hello, Burble. Birdle. I'm Birdle. Surprise Birdle, Birdle moment? Wow. Ma'am? Ma'am. <laughs> Bye, Birdle. Yeah? How are you, ma'am? Are you mad about my screaming? He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe hey, how cute her. she is sometimes. Oh, my baby woke up too. Hi, Emma. <gasps> Babies. 
Brandon was clawing at my chair just now. Oh, <laughs> she sends oh, cats. <laughs> she yeah, sends it's cats yeah, getting time. attention other than her. Y'all, can I tell you, I... Mm -hmm. The reason I was gone for so long was uh -huh. I was like, okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of food for Branwyn. No problem. Uh -huh. um, go into the kitchen, and there was a pan in the sink, and there was a cockroach <gasps> in it. And... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's horror. Horror. No. Horror. Oh, my God. Like, what did you I... do? Well, I had a wee fright. I kind of uh -huh. just, like, stood there looking at it. Because the issue was, well, okay, so we have a garbage disposal. So I kind of was thinking, mm -hmm. like, how, like, he's faster and smarter than like, so, how... He might have gotten in through the garbage disposal. I've had that happen to me. Oh, before. really? Oh. Like, when I was cleaning oh, dishes... It's making me jumpy. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I... So, well, this is probably a bad idea. I have to text Alan that I did this. But I... We just got some cockroach spray, so I sprayed it. But I don't really know if it actually hit it. And then it went into the sink, so I just, like, was like, fuck it. So I turned on the garbage disposal. It did... Sound like a one something got chunked up in there. Uh, <laughs> but then yeah. I just was like frozen. Like I just like couldn't do uh -huh. anything. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's fair. like after that you're just like I don't you're know what like, to oh do. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, like I can't just leave knowing it's here, but also I cannot touch it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, I would just I would just be sure that you wash uh if you got any cockroach spray on the pan and stuff, just make sure you wash that like really, really well um, yeah. Yeah. before you cook with it next is my only thing. Actually, uh, yeah. wait, I should be right back again to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go wash your hands. Oh, it's horrible. How are you, my little lady? Little old lady. She's a little, little old lady. Little old baby. We all heard oh, that no. one. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, I will stop I will stop making a dance. Mwah! Mwah! Goodbye, Bye, Bye, Spurdle. We love you. Bye. Okay. Love you. It's the only way of the riddle of the increasing oxygen level can be solved, bitch, your honor. At this point in time, the remaining oxygen in the victim's tank was at 50%. And when the victim was found in the boarding lounge, his tank was at 0%. There's <coughs> nothing contradictory about the ox oxygen level decreasing. This means Mr. Terran was alive as they made their escape to the lounge. Silence. Huh. How short your memory is. Have you forgotten what you yourself proposed? Even if the victim was alive at this point in time. How did he descend the ladder with his arms full? Objection. Now we're questioning it? Objection! Prosecutor Blackwell, you can't hurt me with a broken blade. Ooh. Ex excuse me? Can't touch this. No, no. No, no. No, can't touch this. It's true that we don't know how they got down the ladder. I suppose that matter needs further investigating. But we have proven that Mr. Terran was alive when he reached the boarding lounge. This fact alone shatters your claims. And opens up the possibility that the victim could have been killed by a third party. <laughs> Got him, boys! <laughs> there were two people who claimed to be the first on the scene. But can we truly trust their statements? Let's see, the two people were Detective Candace Arm and Yuri Cosmos, right? Do you think that one of them might have given a false statement to the police? Yes, it's certainly possible. We might have to do a little more digging. Uh, it seems we'll have to hear the testimony of these two people on the scene. I mean, I didn't think to do about this beforehand. Right. <laughs> Come to think of it, Detective Arm... Arme... <laughs> ...should be here in court right now. Uh... <laughs> Bailiff, could you please show Detective Arme to the stand? Uh 
Oh, wait, he is oh. here. Wow. I, I have an announcement, everyone. What, what, what's the meaning of... Oh, Max back? Yes. Max back. <gasps> Welcome back. Sorry, Go I also had a Brandwin moment. Oh, that's fair. Uh, uh, we just... Um, what just happened? And we were about to back. get... <laughs> we were about to get uh, Candace arm up to the stand oh. to give her testimony, oh. and then Detonate was like, "Objection!" Yeah, oh, Detonate has has appeared. Uh huh. Thank you. What's the meaning of this? We're in the middle of a trial here. Uh, please remain calm and listen carefully. Oh, wait, actually, am I just talking regularly? I might just be talking regularly. God damn it. Please oh. remain calm and listen carefully. Someone has reactivated the bomb. The bomb was defused, but but it's about to explode. I remember you did your hey. voice kind of robotic. I did. Explode? But, but it's like I only do it when he's using his little text to speech. Oh, I understand. Wasn't A bomb because... now? I forgot that about him. Sorry. Everybody, run! Oh, it's okay. I don't want to die. <laughs> no, everybody's panicking. Ick. The courtroom. Silence. Silence. Headless chickens with a death wish. The lot of you, calm yourselves before all else. Out of here. But what about Mr. Starbucks? <laughs> Mr. Starbucks dream, and who will carry out Clay's final wish? I don't care what happens to me. I'm not letting some bomb blow the truth up forever. I, I, oh. I refuse to let things end here. It's not going to be dramatic. If we don't get out of here now, we're going to die. Come on, this way. Hey, ouch! Let me go. <laughs> This is why she's a jock, uh, so she can <laughs> pull Apollo out. <gasps> Junie! Junie! Oh, it's me! Apollo! Juniper? She hasn't evacuated yet? Oh, right, I forgot about Whee! this. Juniper, are you alright? No, not that way! <laughs> right into the blast! Oh, 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 oh. Looks, Looks like, like Apollo's Apollo justice is busting up again! Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. To be continued? And then he fucking died. And then Apollo justice fucking died. Can you guys believe that was the end of the game? Wow. 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 That's big, yeah, I was expecting was a, really, a little bit more from that, honestly. A really so. kind of uh, abrupt and, uh, dare I say, avant-garde ending to it. <laughs> Really I'm honestly speak... a little surprised I got, a, I got another game. Really speaks to the to the chaos of the real world and the legal system, right? I now <laughs> know, know why fair. Apollo didn't really take over the series and have his technical own trilogy now. Yeah. I don't get it. Why, why uh, both this one and the, the final one are called Phoenix, right? Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. Oh, Thanks the fucking Wii so Sports much. music. Anyway, thank you, uh, everybody, for uh, hanging out tonight. Uh, this was uh, thank you for having us. Very fun. Yeah, thank you. This was so much <coughs> fun. It was good to be back. Don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> um, I will tempt you with next week when we'll be back for the rest of the. Uh, well, we'll probably just get through the investigation next time, but. Um, but yeah, we will be back next week. I don't know if we'll be doing the week after that because I have a friend in town. But we'll see. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, I hope everybody has a good night. I'm just going to end it here. Um, uh, a, a good time zone. Uh, and I'll see you all in the Discord in the meantime. Um, and I'll see you on Monday again, hopefully, for more Yakuza, if work doesn't fucking kill me by then. So, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah me too. Luck. I miss Yakuza, and I was... <laughs> I'm just... Every Monday, it's been like... Bleh. Anyway, I hope you all have a good night, and I will talk to you, you later. Too. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.